Should we tweet that we started? Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, please don't let people hear this. <laughs> Bow, 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 Do you remember, bow, bow. like, the one random episode in, like, season two where they added, like, scatting to that theme song? Oh, my God. It's, like, the one song where they, like, they they just have scatting over it oh, for no reason. Oh, like how Scrubs tried to extend their opening for, like, one, like, half season, and then it went, went yeah. what the fuck are you doing? Isn't it be funny? <laughs> Boom, bam, bam, bam. God. <laughs> Ashley, thank you for the Dragon Ball Seinfeld art. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Folks, I just want you to know that, that Luke has been geeking out about his favorite Seinfeld bits for, you like, You say Luke half has. Me and Julie together no, have. It's, it's, yeah, I no, you were doing it even before she showed up. Like I wasn't talking about my favorite bits. I was just talking about random bits. No, the now favorite. We're going to talk about that. favorite bits. Yeah. I mean, listen, it's it's not. I'll, I prefer Seinfeld over talking mm. about the bullshit of Red versus Blue and the universe that I know about. God, <laughs> we're not uh, going to talk about Red versus Blue, so don't even fucking start. Meanwhile, I have been uh, remembering the time when Penny Arcade got really, really mad about people finding politics in the new Doom, even though the politics are in Doom. Mm, jeez. But wait, what? are you saying Penny Arcade's bad? I know, fucking weird, right? Yes, we should probably off. not say that we're playing Doki Doki Literature Club, because that's not a true thing. That's no, not we are. Well, anyway, no. welcome. No, please, no. Can you put that we're playing Seinfeld? <laughs> <laughs> is there a Seinfeld oh. video game? Oh, man. Oh, I don't I, think I, there I is. You can enter whatever the hell you want, is the Seinfeld thing. Video <laughs> Seinfeld video game. Seinfeld is a video game. A fan game. Like a fan gets a fan game. Yeah, there's a fan game. All right, well. You should Good play enough. this free Seinfeld anime game. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, senpais always just notice me, I guess. I draw a senpai's gaze. <laughs> What's the deal with Sun, Dere? <laughs> God. Oh, Sun, Dere. Gonna check that out later. <laughs> anyway. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey. How's it going? What's up? <sighs> All right. What are we doing? <laughs> I'm putting uh, 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 anime thing. figures like four. Eh? Yeah. I don't know so, about you guys. Uh, to recap on what happened last time, which seems like something we should probably do. Hold on. Be right back. It's been a couple weeks. It's go been ahead, a couple weeks, and uh, stuff got weird at the end of the last one. Did it? Uh -huh. I don't know about that. Yeah, you know. <laughs> uh. Nethria is kind of in a bad shape. Uh, there was uh, lots of rioting after you guys left. Big parts of the Blue District have been burned down. Uh, things are starting to get back under control, but it's still eh, not the best. Uh, so Strength kind of gently suggested that maybe you guys should just head on back out and not hang around town too long. Um, mm hmm Timmy did have an age play adventure. So did Brooke. Little Brooke bit. is still on yeah. her. Yeah, yeah, Brooke is still on her age play adventure, technically. Because she just got taller and greener. Yep. Both things that Jules wants to be. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I don't think we're going to try and fix that one. No, no Brooke was like, like, no, it's fine. It's fucking whatever. Like, yeah, who cares? She's eight feet tall and green. Right. I'm made of water. Who cares? <laughs> Why is it still saying that we're playing Doki Doki Literature Club? We're not. We're playing Seinfeld. It might refresh, don't worry. What if I refresh or are page? we? I've been refreshing. Are we? No, it still says Doki Doki. I don't know, you fucked it up, Luke. It, it won't change off of Doki Doki. You fucked it up, buddy. You fucked it up. It's probably some horror shit. Probably, yeah. The Doki Doki got into the, the Twitch. Yeah, it won't change. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I don't think anybody's going to search for that game to watch us play it, so uh, don't worry. We found some, there were some people searching for it when we streamed it. Oh, well, we're going to get some free watches. Hell free yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's how you get them. Stop it. Let's... Just tell them we're playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So you guys headed out to uh, a coastal town to rent a boat from William. And his sister, Wilma. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, yeah, I remember the show's dumb. 
<laughs> oh, I think Molly laughed for about five minutes straight without breathing after I said Wilma. <laughs> it's still really funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no one knew how to sail, but Brooke just, you know, water bent the water so you guys could travel the seas. And uh, you found a small islet. Uh, with a cove on one side that had a strange ship there that had seemed to have wrecked. Uh, you guys investigated the ship and found some weird machine inside that when you interacted with it, <clears throat> uh, all of a sudden caused the ship to blast off through some kind of vortex. Mm -hmm. And all of you fell through a hole in the ship and uh, felt your entire beings come undone and... The part mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. left off at Been was... there. <laughs> the part we left off at was uh, fading in on Jet's New York apartment. Uh, Jet, you're in the kitchenette eating cereal. Uh, your girlfriend, Brooke, is in the bathroom getting ready. Uh, you've been dating her for a few weeks, and it's, you know, it's going okay, but you're probably going to dump her soon, because that's just what you do. Uh, Timmy from across the hall and uh, Edith will probably be over soon to uh, head out but for now you're just eating cereal in your kitchen what do you do uh, can I continue to eat cereal you absolutely <laughs> can <laughs> I hell wanna... yeah I know this is my vote and not like a video game pro a video game but I want to imagine the prompt that comes up of just like eat just keep eating cereal yeah exactly exactly uh can I click around the room to see if there are any <laughs> <laughs> are there any usable items in this room what would you like to investigate um can I investigate whatever couch I have? Uh, sure. It's a blue couch, a little, uh, you know, not ratty, but it's, it's used. You guys have had it for a while. Uh, this is before, uh, the storyline where someone pisses on it. Uh, that's not happened yet. Who will piss on it? The answer might surprise you. <laughs> uh... God, that, that was the storyline in Seinfeld. Someone pissed on Jerry's couch. Oh, okay. Well, it was the Why? Well, it was the father of a guy, uh, of a girl she he was dating, and uh, he was, it was... It's not really ever explained, but he just sits down and says, ah, and then he gets up and leaves, and there's just a puddle where he was sitting. <sighs> and it's not really yeah, elaborated every time on. You, every time you talk about Seinfeld, it just keeps sounding like a bad show. <laughs> What are you talking Luke, about? Why do you keep trying to get people to watch shows that are about piss? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, real uh, quick, I should explain something that just happened to me. Uh, okay. that I'm trying really hard not to laugh right now. My mom walks in the room because she just came in and wanted to give me some lunch that she bought at, uh, for takeout. Then she she put on the table right in front of me a plastic bag with two cactuses in it. Wait, what? Huh. Alright, well. I was, I was like... I was like, okay, I guess she just wants to, like, do that. She didn't say anything. She just came in, handed me the bag of cactuses, and left. I was like, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then she came back in, dying of laughter, trying to hold it in because she knew I was recording, and then swapped out the cactuses for a bag of takeaway. All righty. <laughs> uh, uh, Jet, your buzzer suddenly rings. Oh, a visitor. <laughs> <laughs> God, what am uh, I doing? <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Uh, I walk over to the door and open it. Okay. Your, your buzzer's um, still the, ringing. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, that's perfect. <laughs> like, Chick is like, oh, God, you're right. Uh, Close the door and oh, like, answers the buzzer. Hey, it's me. It's the voice of your good buddy, Lies. Okay, so Liza is my good buddy. This is not a Newman situation. No, she's not the Newman. Okay, <laughs> I didn't, okay. Damn. I didn't plan Damn. for a Newman. <laughs> I didn't plan for a Newman. It's a hell of a... <laughs> okay, come on up. Uh, yeah, the you you ring her in 
And, uh, Brooke, what are you doing? <laughs> I put you in a place, but, hey, so you know. You, you said I was in the shower, right? Like, I, I just said you were in the bathroom getting ready for the day. Alright, um... I guess Brooke, I like, I guess Brooke would just come out and just go, Oh, who's that? That's nice. Oh, cool, great. Haven't seen it in a while. Uh... After a few, I just want to point out yeah. that a water elemental is taking a shower. Yeah, <laughs> I think she's got to replenish. It's I don't fine. know. Is is she a people now? I think we just said everyone's still what they are because that's weirder. all right. That's weirder in there. Oh man, funnier. actually, I don't know. Human stone is what also be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. you know what? I'll leave the decision to you. You know what? Actually, yeah, they're, Do you they're, guys they're, have I human sonas. Be... Yeah, yeah. All righty. Yeah, uh, human soda for me too. Okay, yep. All right, God. all right. Three human sodas, my good man. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like Edith, uh, like a wolf girl now. No, like what? Like no, going... no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lies walks in and closes the door behind her, and she goes, "Hey, you guys, almost ready?" Uh, yeah. All right, great. She throws her purse on the couch and says, oh, hey, Brooke. Hey, how's it going? Oh, God. Why? Oh, boy. <laughs> Brooke? <laughs> you had what? so much time to prepare for this. Yeah, I did a lot of top-level planning. Trust me. There. Listen, I put that time to use. But okay. I, didn't, I didn't write down a ton of dialogue to read off a page. I didn't write a... For a TV theme. Yeah, uh. Uh -huh. I didn't write a script. Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go Andy Kaufman here, aren't we? Like... <laughs> it would have been amazing if, like, just before they're like, okay, here are your scripts. Right, exactly. <laughs> no. Uh, Lies just says, oh, God, I've had the worst week. I am so glad we I finally got some time off. What happened? <laughs> Fuck you, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> that's a... That's a... That's a... What reasonable... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the Fate Core RPG system. Uh -huh. Yeah, yep, uh-huh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is a fucking mess. <laughs> um, she says, oh, just... Oh, let, me, let me think real quick. Give me a second. And... Got it. Okay. Oh, just... Strength at work has been miserable. I just... I can't stand that job. Oh, uh, no, she's awful. <laughs> yeah, uh, she opens her mouth to respond, and the buzzer rings again. Uh, wait. Hello. Uh, Edith, you're downstairs. Uh, hey, you guys, uh, almost ready or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, wait, it, uh, were all those guys in character? Yes. All right, one sec. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I'm so excited, even more so now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh lord. Uh, <laughs> uh, at, Lies kind of turns to you, Brooke, and continues your conversation as uh, Jet steps away to answer the door. Um, and she says, uh, I have just, I have, think I've written more in the past week than I have in the last three years. We were just really overworked ever since Honor had to go off and die on us. I mean, what can you do? Yeah. Uh, the door clicks 
and you might think it's Edith, but uh, Timmy slides in from across the hall. And uh, I don't have a woo! <laughs> hey, everybody! And everyone just sort of, you know what, uh, everyone roll notice. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, am I rolling notice, Luke? Uh, you're not in the scene, so no. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, let me just, wait, hold on, let me just pull my character. Oh, that's uh, four minuses. Oh, Fuck. Oh, boy. All right, don't that's worry about it. That's a negative three on notice. Okay. Uh, that is a five. That's a five? Okay. Four. Anyway, so yeah. What'd you get, uh, Julie? Uh, four. Four, okay. Jet, you, uh... There's, like, a weird feeling in the back of your brain, and for a split second, you feel a little odd that all of you are just sort of standing around not talking for a second or two after Timmy slid into your house. But, uh, you shake it off. Uh. Ah. <laughs> Bye, Timmy. Well, hey! What's everybody getting all gussied up for? Uh, Timmy, you actually know already that everyone is planning a trip to the... Mall, and you're actually running a little late, uh, because you wanted to get there early to make sure you got, uh, good parking, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Alright, well, let me, uh, redo that line, then. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Well, hey, everybody ready to go? Uh, just about, uh, you know, Brooke. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where's Edith? Uh, she's downstairs. Did you buzz her up, or are you just planning to meet Edith when you move, go down? I think either's fine. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Uh, I probably said that I was going down, but I'm not hurrying. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You know, uh, just being kind of a dick. Right. Yeah, of course. Getting back to the core of the character, huh? Yeah. Well, and also Seinfeld. Edith, the, oh, okay. uh, we, we cut downstairs where uh, Jet told you that they'd be down in a minute, and it's been several minutes, and they're still not here. Uh, I press the button really hard on the buzzer. Okay. I'm already on my way down. Uh, no, you're answering me. Where are you? <laughs> I'm like, I'm yelling from the hallway. <laughs> Just hurry up. Edith, why don't you go ahead and roll notice? God. Uh, that's a four. Okay. Um, for a split second, you thought you heard something, but I mean, you're out on the city street. It's probably just, you know, the crowd. Uh huh. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Lai says, uh, oh, tell her to hold her horses. We're coming. Do you want me to use those exact words, or... Hold on. Just let me show the laugh track again. <laughs> She's probably strong enough to hold more than two. I'm not gonna lie, with, with like, that tinny echo, there's something haunting about it. Yeah, I know, I thought... It's really yeah. bad. That was the intention. <laughs> jet, roll notice yeah. again. Just Jet. Alright, uh... <laughs> All right, that's not going to do it. That is uh, a one. Okay, yeah, nothing. <laughs> uh, let me think here. Lies smacks her head suddenly and says, Oh my god, I completely forgot. I have to... I'm supposed to be waiting on a call this morning from strength. Ah, uh, <sighs> Jet, can we just... I, I know we're already running late. Can we... Can I call up the office and just tell them to call me here? It, it, they, it won't be more than five, ten minutes, I'm sure. Uh, uh, I kind of look at the rest of the crew. I'm going to go get Edith. Yeah. All right. Okay, and sorry. We'll out. hold down the fort. Uh, yeah, and, and Lies makes her way over to the phone. Uh, Edith, you're getting increasingly frustrated as Jet and only Jet comes out of the building. Hey. Uh, hey, hey, what the fuck? I just thought, you know, 
coming up to see my, see my place. You know, I, I, I've seen your place. I would like to see the mall. Uh, I just you know got a new DVD. Pretty nice. I, what's going on? What? I, okay, I guess I'm not gonna stand out here anymore anyway. So. Yeah, no, get out of the cold. Come on, it's just, just be a second. Sure. Brooke, you are alone with two of Jet's friends that you really haven't had much of an opportunity to spend time with, and it's a little awkward. Do I at least like know them? You like you, you know them? You've probably shaken hands and hello, but it's like okay, you haven't really had like one-on-one -on -one conversations with either of these people. Sure. So you and Timmy are just hanging out while Lies is on the phone. So Timmy just kind of fidgets and drums on his thighs a little bit. So how's your week been, Timmy? It's been going great, you know. Just, uh, just, uh, you know, just killing time. You know, getting getting through work. Just same old, same old. Um, and where do you work again? Oh, uh, at the hospital. <laughs> hey, that's yeah. that's pretty good. That's sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet it must be it must be busy there. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so a long awkward silence. I mean, I... this is accurate. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. There's a long awkward silence, and the laugh track breaks it. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna queue it up again. I think I've gotten the point across. Both of you roll real quick. Ah, I'll queue it All up. Right. What am I doing? Who cares? <laughs> I was gonna say, listen. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, it turns. Into, it, otherwise, it turns into those edited clips of Big Bang Theory, and no one wants that. Right. Uh, well, roll notice just a again. Two. A two. Okay. Uh, you're rolling notice. Yeah. Timmy's got bad notice. Is the thing. Uh, that's a four again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Brooke, you feel. Something vaguely off, but you can't quite put your finger on it. Uh, and uh, hmm. Jet and uh, Edith come in the building. Uh, hey, so Edith! Come in the apartment, rather. Hey, uh, what is taking so long? What did you want to show me? Uh, Liza had to make a phone call. Oh. Uh, well, okay. Uh, Lies hangs up the phone and rejoins all of you and says, all right, I told them this is the number they can reach me at. Strength is, I guess, in the middle of something right now, but she's going to call me back any minute now. Hi, uh, Edith. Uh, hey, what's, what, what are you waiting, what's the call? Oh, I, she needed to run over the final edits on the piece I gave her on Friday. What's it about? Oh. Oh, it's... <laughs> Luke. <laughs> what? What, Julie? <laughs> uh, you know what? Never mind. It's good. <laughs> she says, uh... Oh, it's just another piece for the catalog. It's just, uh, who, who even knows? Same old crap. Do we know what the catalog she's talking about is? Yeah, of course. It's the fashion catalog that she writes for. I keep for Julie knows what I'm doing <laughs> because she's seen Seinfeld. Listen, you gotta like you gotta throw heavy because it's been been a while since I, I remember I every know. episode. Like L Lies is of course a writer for a fashion catalog, and she's always writing up new pieces about strange new bits of fashion. Oh no, she's Elaine. Yeah. Oh, I I. I'm not gonna lie, I always forgot, like, what their respective jobs were, except for, like, Jerry oh, and George. Yeah, like, yeah, no. <laughs> Elaine's a copywriter. That's right, God. Uh, oh, God, that, so, I also do love that Timmy, as, like, as the as Kramer, Kramer, works at, the works at a hospital. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I mean... Look, it doesn't look, go Timmy, well. Timmy does come for money, much like Kramer, like... Right. Uh, yeah. Or there's that whole thing where uh, they drop the the snow caps into the dude's body. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep, oh, that God. does. Wait, so wasn't that, wait, does Kramer actually work at a hospital? No, but they visit a hospital and they're in like the surgical theater, and Kramer is treating it like a movie. So he brought some junior mints 
and then he Jerry's like fighting with him to put him away, and they drop one inside of the man's open like surgical cavity, <laughs> and the doctors and they, don't notice. Yep. Yeah, what? And it is implied Jeez. later on that the junior mitt somehow saved the man's like, life. What? <laughs> so what does Kramer actually do for a living? He's unemployed. Yeah, oh, okay. he, he he's unemployed. He just has a lot of money. He's yeah, he, independently wealthy. He's not even independently wealthy. He's just always up to like weird shenanigans that get him enough money to skirt by on. Uh, Kramer's weird. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds weird. Uh. This all sounds weird. <laughs> I love describing out of context Seinfeld to Molly. He's weird, but America loves him. <laughs> I don't. Uh, God. But yeah, so Liza's rejoined all the incidents. I, I, I'm sure we'll just be here for a few minutes. I, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, okay, great. That's what I wanted to do. I, listen, I know, but... And do you want to just go without me? No, no, no. It's we we're all gonna go together. That was the plan. It'll okay. take a few minutes. Okay, all right. Uh, Edith walks over to the couch and like heavily drops on it. Sure. <laughs> it sags. <laughs> <laughs> not because like not only because Edith is very big, right? But also because it's a very bad couch. Sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just want to imagine Brooke is now squashed between Edith and Timmy on the couch. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh huh. Hey. Hey. Uh, hi, Edith. How's how's it going? Uh, you know, you know, we could have just left a while ago, but it's fine. I'm good. No, yeah, but uh, like I said, it'll only be like a few minutes. Like, can't be too bad. Just we're just going to the mall anyway. Yep, I'm sure. Uh, Edith, it's your mom's birthday is coming up. That's why you're going to the mall to find her a present. Okay. I don't know, I just thought that bit of motivation might be useful. Yeah, that might be useful. Okay, good to know. <laughs> uh, when Edith flops onto the couch and it sags, let's just go ahead and get another one of these in. <laughs> and let's, uh, let's have everyone roll notice again. It gets scarier and scarier <laughs> with every time. Like <laughs> when, when two start overlapping, I really don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a that's a minus one. Okay. That's yeah, a I got two. A, so he's I just got oblivious. One. Yeah, I got a three. Three. Okay. And what'd you get, Brooke? Uh, two. Two. Okay. Uh, Jet, you like catch something weird out of the corner of your eye, but when you look towards it, it's like there's nothing there. Oh God, that that, that idea is so creepy to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like, not just seeing, like, almost, like, not just seeing, like, something out of the corner of your eye and it not actually being there. Right. But the idea of seeing, like, a studio audience. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, like, you catch a glimpse and they're like, wait, what? Oh, oh, no, it's fine. Yeah, and, and Jet, you actually also heard, like, what, you thought you heard laughing for a second. Someone needs to break this notice roll. <laughs> Hey, so have any of so, you heard the new uh, song EP yet? It's real good. Sorry, the new what? <laughs> that, that, that's what Lies what? says. Oh, oh, I got it. Okay, I get it now. Uh, uh, nothing. What? Yeah. What yeah. did you say, Mike? <laughs> Was it supposed to be LP? I forgot. <laughs> no, it was not LP. EP, EP works. EP, EP works. works. Yeah, no, oh, you got it. Works. That's the point that you're. <laughs> Because the, like I, we've already established life and strength are here, so right. No, 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 totally. I just yeah, it was like I thought you were just like blanking on an actual good band to put in there. So oh. you just and I didn't realize first. that you made a very good joke. <laughs> Sorry. Good job, everyone involved. Everyone hey, involved. Hey, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh. Lie says, "Oh no, what's it called?" Weirdly enough, it's just called music. All right, come on, that's a little pretentious, don't you think? I mean, ugh. I mean, a little bit. It, the album is just kind of a picture for face and the word music, and that's it. Oh, boy. That's I'm like... telling you, these single-name artists really just... I don't get it. Who wants to just be a word? 
I mean, I think you have to have at least two words to really kind of get someone. <laughs> Jet, go ahead and roll notice. <laughs> God. It, another one that really killed me on that one was the, like, the long pause between... <laughs> Uh, that would be five. Okay, uh, Jet. You, the, uh, wall that, uh, the couch is facing is all of a sudden not there. Uh, no one else sees this, just Jet. And, uh, there are very bright lights shining in from where the wall was. Uh, everything okay, Jet? Yeah, uh, no? You can see that there's, like, a concrete floor, uh, like, extending past where the wall should be. Uh, is everyone seeing this? Seeing what? Seeing, the seeing what? Wall? You're... The, uh, and... Jet walks over to, like, where the wall used to be and, like, okay. tries to, like, extend her hand, like, through. Uh, everyone... Jet just put her hand through the wall like a ghost. Uh... Oh! Oh, that's really relatable. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, is also there. screaming in surprise. M Molly uh, just made a very good joke. You have to do yeah. the laugh track. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, one sec. Sorry. God. <laughs> I'm never going to make a joke again, actually. <laughs> this is oh, it. Man. This was Luke's attempt to get us on track. <laughs> He'll never make a joke again. I'm just going to always make jokes. Fuck it. We got yeah. human Timmy. Oh, it's my so God. so good. Oh, my God. So human good. Timmy. So Thank you, hon. <laughs> anyway, yeah. What what next? The wall's uh, not there. I, I mean, yeah, I'm not sure if it's the wall or your hand that's not there. Nah, my wall's here. My hand's here. No, wait. Okay, now. <laughs> what? Hmm? Does anyone else here watch Little Girl Lost or the Simpsons Halloween episode that was a parody of Little Girl Lost? Uh, no. I, I, so I, I, I don't know what Little Girl Lost is, so you gotta tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I take it back. No more jokes ever. Yeah, no. no more jokes there you go. See? Uh, Jet looks back out again and into a full, like, step. Like, still has, like, one of her feet in the apartment. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, you continue to, like pass through the wall it, from your view you're not you're just stepping out into this different space and as you're sort of sticking your head through uh you can see rows of uh the first few rows of bleachers and you can't really see beyond that because of the bright stage lights that are right in your eye can she see who's in the bleachers nobody oh, oh. oh that's somehow worse and yeah, everyone else, you just see her put, like, half of her body through the wall. Oh, uh, should we call someone? Uh, Edith is gonna get up and put her hand up against the wall. It's a solid wall. Pull uh, her out? Uh, Jet's going to, like, just Jet's head is going to come back in. Okay. <laughs> it's, got, it's really bright out here. And there's, like, bleachers. Uh, bleachers. Yeah. Like, just bleachers? Wait, let me look. It's just, uh, do I need to roll notes? Or it's just bleachers, right? Uh, like I said, you can't really see that far out. Uh, it, uh actually, mm, let's just describe the scene, why don't we? Uh, it is. it looks like a television studio set, uh, to you, Jet. And you don't really even need to stick your head, like, out, out. Uh, there's some bright light shining on 
what you de- can now recognize is like a stage, like a set that looks like your apartment. Uh, there are cameras positioned in different spots around, and a, an empty set of risers uh, that are, after the first few rows that you saw, uh, crushed and mangled because there is what almost looks like a giant pirate ship, like, slammed into them. And this would look like a, a normal TV set, which would be weird in its own way, if not for the uh, ship that is slammed into the bleachers. There's a ship in the bleachers. A ship. What, what like, like yeah. a boat? Like a boat. As the <laughs> laughter uh, happens again, you can now hear it clearly, Jet. But you can see it doesn't seem to have a source. It just booms and echoes through this empty TV set. Did you guys hear that? Hear what? what? The laughter. Someone's laughing. A lot of people are laughing. Are you okay? I think so. I don't think I'm going crazy. Because That's reassuring. Otherwise, I don't. I don't think being crazy means you can go through walls. Guys, haven't this heard is of that symptom before. A little more than I bargained for today. I think. Uh, you know what? Strength and wait. I'm gonna go home and lock myself uh, away forever. Bye. And uh, lies just sort of like makes a beeline for the door. Honey, wait. wait. Nope, Brooks, your girlfriend, not lies. <laughs> I thought. I thought because she was Elaine that... <laughs> what does Jerry call Elaine honey, Ashley? <laughs> well, not because he's an awful person. <laughs> They're not... They don't date, Ashley. They don't? I have I so many conflicted did. feelings. <laughs> There's what They used to date before the show started, and then they just broke up and stayed friends. Oh, God, that's right. Oh, listen, I haven't watched Seinfeld in a very long time. <laughs> no, Brooke's your girlfriend. Okay. Okay, I'd like to have at least some of you here for whole, all this. Uh, yeah, I don't got anywhere else to be, so... <laughs> yeah? I'm too terrified to move, so sure. Same. Uh... So, how are you doing that, exactly? I really wish I knew, because I'm just kind of... Sticking myself through it. Okay, uh... So we can't go through it. Maybe... What happens if we break the wall down? Like, I mean, I know it's your apartment and this is gonna, you know, ruin your deposit what? and everything, but I feel like this is yeah, really Yeah, no, I, I was about to say, I don't have a deposit on this. It's like, <laughs> I don't have... I didn't pay for that part of the contract. I can't even hang up photos. Oof. That... Okay. (laughs) The delay while I get the laugh track queued Uh up is really my favorite part. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Also, Molly, I love seeing Pris, like, trying to understand what the hell's going on, hearing just your (laughs) side of this. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> they're playing like a Seinfeld themed tabletop game I guess <laughs> <laughs> in a way I uh, guess uh, <laughs> um hmm I think Timmy's just gonna start like like knocking on the wall see if he can figure out like if you can find like a door or something uh, Timmy, by all accounts, yeah, you, you check the wall out, and, uh, it's just the wall of Jerry's apartment. You've seen it a thousand times. You just said Jerry. Jet's apartment. You've seen it a Jer- thousand definitely times. Definitely Jerry's Stop. apartment. That motherfucker Jerry. <laughs> Head of whoop. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> um. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. Wait. I think I have an idea. Sure. 
What if one of you grabs my hand while I go through? It's worth trying. Okay, I guess. All right. Uh, Timmy hands I'm... Jet his. He gives Jet his hand. Okay. Yeah, and are you going all the way through, Jet? You know, you could have just like let her girlfriend go first, but I guess that's fine. Yeah, that's say, <laughs> Listen, I we're not right at the <laughs> hand holding stage of this relationship. Uh, God damn it! Uh... Fair enough. <laughs> I, I would have thought, you know, the the very fabric of reality turning out to not work the way we thought it did might have, you know, uh, whatever. Listen, Tim, social it's a contract is a powerful thing. <laughs> social contract transcends and barriers. You guys are just telling a lot of funny jokes. This is the worst. <laughs> okay, all you need to really just, we need to say less things because the laughter is getting horrible. <laughs> what laughter? I mean, I can't hear. It's not really my problem now. Anyway, yeah. What, uh, what, get, yeah tell me I, what you're doing. I, I guess going... because taking Jet's hand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, as you step through the wall, uh, Jet, and start to pull Brooke as... Brooke, you can cross the, the barrier. Your hand comes through the wall. Uh, and are you continuing to follow her through the wall? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. I think at this moment, Brooke is just silently freaking out. Like, Sure, right, right, right. As, uh, you step all the way through, and you see the TV studio, and you look back, and you can see the set of Jet's apartment. Brooke pokes her head back through and goes, uh, she's not kidding. Especially uh, okay. about the ship. Great. Uh, actually, Luke, question? Yeah. <laughs> Are Jet and I still human when we cross over? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Lord. Yeah, like we're not suddenly remembering, like, oh, the pirate, that pirate ship. We nope. went, did something on it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Th that's what I assume. Though, just kind of making sure. Uh. Do you want to come through as well? I guess. Yeah. Sure. I don't know, Edith. You really need to buy your mom a birthday present today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's split the party. Molly will just go get a <laughs> All right, <laughs> go to the ball. We investigate this psycho, this fucking psychological horror that's happening before us. God. Uh, is that an actual thing I have to worry about, Luke? No, I'm joking. Okay. Yeah, I was like, are, you go, sure. are you going to invoke? I, was <laughs> say, I don't know if you're like invoking a <laughs> aspect you put on me or something. No, I don't know. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> It, it, I'm not gonna like being totally character though for Edith to just go fuck this and go to the mall anyway. Right, right. <laughs> uh, you have the uh, aspect gifted. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, Brooke, you uh, help Jet pull Timmy and Edith through the wall. So here's a question: Do yeah. we? know what a tv studio is yeah it's the 90s everyone knows what a tv studio okay is. I, well i mean this, this is the thing so we look at this and like so because like people say like oh there's just bleachers out here but like can we can we recognize this as a television studio yes okay i, I said bleachers when I, I was not getting the full picture right 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 i was trying to kind of slowly peel it back but yeah there's there's like cameras out here and stage lights and all that sort of stuff So this is weird, right? This is this is really weird. Oh yeah, this is very weird. Ah uh, yeah, this is uh yep. <laughs> oh god, you're right. Oh that. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. really oh, that's bad. bad. It sucks. Yeah, no, that's not good. That's the worst. <laughs> uh okay, so now what? Uh, Check out that ship. Yeah, we got a pirate ship now. That that's cool. Yeah, I also say there are there's are doors on either end of the uh, the studio. Uh, Timmy's gonna go check the the door. I guess the one nearest to the ship. Okay. Uh, you head off sort of uh stage right. Uh, towards that door. Uh, that's left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, you know, you're using some fancy theater terms, Liz. Just want to make sure you. all the 
Oh, the people at home know. <laughs> you grab the door and turn the knob, and the door isn't locked. You can tell that, like, it's not, but there's a weird pulling on the door. Like, it's a, uh, almost like there's a vacuum trying to, like, keep it shut. You think it, you, it could be opened, but it's, there's a weird resistance. Like a magnetism, almost. Huh. Is 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 there like uh does is there like a glass pane on the door? Can I see the outside of it? No, this is a uh, black metal door. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. Kind of debating. Do I want to try and force it open? Hey guys, yar. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Well, okay, so... I welcome Oblivion. I push the door open. Okay, yeah, you uh, roll physique. Alright, let's see. Uh, that is a seven. Okay, yeah, you force the door open, and uh, it actually doesn't require quite as much uh, oomph as you put behind it, as it throws open, and the same, like, sucking effect that is, uh, that was keeping it shut uh, threatens to pull you in, especially since you pushed so hard through the door, uh, you just see waves of colors uh, and, like, a kaleidoscopic effect outside of the door, and uh, you are, like, teetering on the edge of the floor about to fall into this abyss of color. Alright, uh, I'm gonna try and grab onto the door frame to steady myself. Roll, uh, probably what? You tell me, I guess. Um, I guess would, uh, would, I, would I don't guess think you'd let me get away with again. physique on this one. Maybe athletics. Yeah, athletics seems the most reasonable. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a one. Okay. Tim, uh, Timmy boy. is about to fall into the abyss. Should we go grab him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess, boy. Boy, Timmy, you done did it. <laughs> Some things um, never change. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out, because, like, none of us walked over there with him. Yeah, um, yeah I, I think you could probably yeah. run and, like, dive for him. Yeah, I think Edith will run and dive for him. Okay, what are you rolling? Uh, can this be physique, I guess? Yeah, I think I'll allow it. Yeah. Uh, that is a six. Okay, yeah, Timmy, you fall out of the studio into this void, but just as you're just barely close enough, Edith manages to grab onto your hand, and you are now dangling out in this void. Uh, roll notice, Timmy. Oh, I'm the worst at that. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, that's a one. Yeah, you don't notice anything. This is a very scary, stressful situation. You don't notice anything. <laughs> Good, great. Uh, do I need to do anything to pull him in? Nah, I, I don't think we need to get that granular. You, you pull him up. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, what was that? That seemed kind of fucked. I mean, kind of everything seems kind of fucked right now. Yeah. Does it does it bleep when we say that word? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was I was just thinking about it. Yeah, oh, I, th yeah. I, I think absolutely. Uh, you're you can see each other's like mouths like scramble as though mosaicked, and uh, it bleeps. Oh god, that that's actually horrifying. <laughs> uh, god. that's ooh, that's uh. That's weird. It's just the thing from Scott Pokemon's how did you do that with your mouth? Right, except I yeah. think the mosaic yeah. effect is scarier than black bars. I think I think Timmy swears a few more times just to see if it keeps happening. Yeah, it does. No, no, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, ah, heck. So, <laughs> uh, outside seems like maybe not an option. 
so... Maybe the other door's better. Jet starts walking over to the other door. <laughs> oh, God. The other door sounds Brooke, good. Brooke sticks, Brooke, sticks close, Brooke sticks close by her. Okay, are you opening the door? I mean... I guess can I'll... I like, tr- can I try to look under it? Uh, You can't. It's too... Like, there's not a real crack under the door. Okay. It's got, like, rubber, like, like bumpers on the bottom. Like, Jet does, like, all this, like, very over-the-top, like, looking at the, you know, like, pushing your ear up against it, pushing, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she goes, it's a door. Great. I hate, I hate that some things just aren't jokes, but they still get that noise. It's great. (laughs) (laughs) Just when you say something, it happens. Well, just the visual of her doing all that seems like it'd be very funny. I'm just following by right. the big bang. Which is like, again, you just say anything that causes a lot of sure, sure, to happen. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Do we go look at the big boat? I, I guess. That seems to be the last thing in here. Yeah, let's... Yeah. Before going into a swirling vert- vortex, let's check out the boat. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try and see if these cameras are plugged into anything. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I think they are. Okay. Uh, they're just into the wall, or...? I think there's, there are probably some power cables going to some kind of, um, like, power hub that... At some point, there's probably a wire going towards the wall, yeah. Can I mess with the power hub or the, any of the equipment? Uh, mess with how? Uh, let's see. Is there one of those? Uh, I don't know. Is there like some panel with like a bunch of buttons and switches on it? Like uh, what do they call that? Like a um, breaker? No, the the thing that they use to cut from shot to shot. Oh yeah, oh, like, sw- like a yeah switchboard. I, yeah yeah yeah, yeah switchboard. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, that's more like in a separate room than the studio than like the actual full studio itself. Yeah, but I'm going to say in this case it's there because this is a weird, surreal studio. Yeah, that's A-OK as well. Uh, okay. Uh, go, go ahead and do the ship oh, thing first. I don't want to dominate Luke, everything. Luke, yeah, yeah. Uh, very quick, is the street set there? No. Okay. Cool. Uh, actually, you know what? I will say that uh, while Timmy's looking around, he can find a monitor that is depicting the one camera angle that was on the street. How many monitors are there? Uh, there's probably several. Most of them are turned off. There are... There's one for every camera, so there's probably... Two, maybe three or four that are just different angles of Jet's apartment. Uh, and then the, the street camera, and then several others that are just turned off. Huh. I I, I I I think I know what I'm. I think I'm gonna try and mess with that, but I wanna I wanna let uh, I wanna I wanna let Ashley do the thing with the ship first. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Was, sure. Is is there a button on the switchboard as well? To just constantly play the theme song. Yeah, I th- there's definitely a button to play the theme. <laughs> Maybe he the blues are calling. <laughs> which, <laughs> well, hang on. <laughs> which of course none of you have ever heard before, and yet somehow it feels intimately familiar. That's I, oh I hate that I hate <laughs> that that's bad. Uh, it, this, it's just like this, it's just like a like synth ver- it's like a uh, Muzak version of Proud of You. No, it's the exact same thing. You- oh, actually, no, that's better. I was gonna say it's just me doing acapella the Seinfeld theme, but no, the the like poppy Muzak version of Proud of You is funnier. God, God, I'm gonna have to go have pay Maxi more money to make me that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, uh, what are we doing? Uh, y'all were gonna investigate the ship before I started messing with other bullshit. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh Edith and Jet, you're yep. going into the ship. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Brooke will stay with Timmy. You're staying with Timmy. Are okay. you sure? You can. You could go if you want. Uh, okay. I'll go. I'll go on the ship then. I guess. Okay. Yeah. You guys climb up the. Uh... Come on. All right. All right. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, the three of you climb up the bleachers and head into the ship. Uh, it's a little difficult to get around because it's at a strange angle, but you get down the stairs and are faced with a very large machine uh, that appears to be connecting to the piping that you saw on the outside of the ship. Uh, it has a large panel with uh, a bunch of concentric, concentric circles that all seem to be dials. Uh, near the staircase into this room is a large chamber where something sort of globe-sized could probably fit. Like, maybe beach ball-sized or something. Uh, and there is a thing to the right of the main, like, console that is sort of a long tube with a glass window showing the whole way down. And uh, you can see there is a, like, blue glowing liquid in there. And as you walk in, you can hear, like, a uh, mechanism engage. Like, a gear gets released, and there's something spinning in the floor. And you can see that the blue liquid is going down in the tube as the room fills with this light blue gas. <sighs> Oh, mm. um, are we stuck in here? No, you're not. There's also a large hole in the side of this room that you can see out into the studio from. Okay. Boy, uh, that seems bad. What do you guys want to do? I kind of don't want to be near the like the gas. That seems yeah, like yeah. Well, I, I honestly, this chamber is rapidly filling with the gas. So roll like if you want to do something, do it now. Wait, but if there's a hole in the wall, yeah, I think it'll eventually waft out of it. But right now, the room is filling up. It's not okay, all right. like like it is like spraying yeah. this gas. It's not slowly filling the room. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right. So what are we rolling? Uh, whatever you want to roll to, if you want to avoid this gas. Uh, I'm gonna roll athletics to get out of it. Okay. I need to look at my character sheet to remember what the skills are. Alrighty. I'm gonna do athletics. Mmm. Athletics seems like the only option. That's... <laughs> I mean, I could say physique? physique to, like, hold your breath or something while you made your way to the exit. Uh, Six. Uh, that is a one. one? That's a okay. three. A three? Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll do the physique. Hang on. Okay. Uh, that's a four. Four? Okay. Uh, Edith, you hold your breath and make your way to the exit, and Jet, you scramble your way, and both of you make it out. Uh, Brooke, you trip as the gas oh, no. fills the well, room, yeah. and you cough and gag on it. And Brooke, Great. what the hell? You're human? What? What is going on? What's happening? You remember everything all of a sudden. Okay. All right. Um. All right. <laughs> I hated the flesh the first time. This is better the second time, but still bad. Still in the realm of bad. Oh God! Is how you always feel? What's going on? Is this hair? <laughs> I love the idea that Brooke is just looking at Edith accusingly, like, what's wrong with you? Right, looking at her Why through the hole of the ship, uh, the, the gas quickly dissipates across the room. Uh, no one else re retains their memories. Guys, guys, guys. Oh, this is gonna be so good. We think that, God, we think God. that Jules went crazy. <laughs> guys? Chet, t what happened? What? what happened? What Are you okay? No, neither are you. Uh, okay. No. Okay, listen, I know that I'm not the best girlfriend, and this is kind of a crazy situation, but I think I do okay. Luke, do I remember that we were just in a 90s sitcom? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Brooke, yeah, you, you remember that you, the, like, specific details of your sitcom life are fading rapidly as though you're waking up from a dream. But okay, you, right. you definitely remember the past, you know, 30 minutes or however long it's been. This is great because this is something I've genuinely had a fear of sometimes. Like, how do I explain this situation to people? Right. <laughs> okay. All right. Where to start? 
Jet, you're not normally human. Neither are you, Timmy. And like, Brook is like yelling out of the room, to, out of the hole in the wall. <laughs> oh, honey, no, the gas. It must have. Uh, Jet looks at Edith. It must have done something to her. You think she's okay? You think we should get her to a doctor or something? What's what are we going to tell a doctor? We went through a, a, a fucking wall into this fake, fucking bleacher room in a pirate ship and she breathed in gas? I don't know, hospital boy. You fix it. Oh, God. That's... Guys, we have to stop being so hilarious. We have to be so be stop being so look, really funny. Look. Listen, okay. I work at a hospital, yes, but I'm just the janitor. I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a season one reveal, like season M one finale reveal. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, all right, I, all right. I think I'm gonna go back to messing with the monitors and see what I can turn on. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can turn on the the monitors that are powered off. They just turn on to a screen displaying static, though. Hmm. Can I switch cameras? Uh, yeah, like I said, you have a, a monitor on every active camera. Uh, you can sort of switch which one is active on a another monitor that you presume is, like, the, the master. Okay. Anything happen if I do that? Uh, just the picture on that monitor changes to the camera you switch it to. Okay. Uh, do I notice anything out of the ordinary in any of the other shots? Nope, it's just a bunch of shots of Jet's apartment and the one street shot. Okay. I think Brooke has now collected her thoughts and is going to try and calmly explain what the hell is going on. <laughs> <laughs> so, just to be clear, you all, and by you all I mostly mean Timmy and Jet, think you're human and that... We live in some apartment complex and are just living our lives. Right? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's pretty that's normal. That's about right. Fuck. Okay. So. This may sound weird. Okay. But only one of us in the, this group is normally human. Stay with me. We all... Jed is kind of like looking at everyone else like, oh no. We all know each other because we all work a pizza place in a city called Nethria built on a mountain on top of a dead goddess's body. Please stay with me. So... <laughs> We oh, yeah. then were working for our boss, who's a time wizard. I'm stay with me, Brooke. Brooke I don't know you that well, and I'm feeling like I shouldn't. Uh, you do. <sighs> we are all very good friends at this point, after a lot of bullshit, such as, oh no, don't you fucking dare laughter. <laughs> we have survived you... time wizardry labyrinth. Who would? Who was a dick? We have survived Fushigi. We have survived a lot of death. And oh, wait, no. I, I definitely remember the Fushigi. The Fushigi? Okay. Remember oh, yeah, you got super into Fushigi. It has been as long as I've known her. Yeah. We were on the, okay, the right. first... I love our first, <laughs> our first date, I, you went back to the apartment and I showed you some Fushigi. We haven't even gone on our first date yet, honey. Anyway, I'm sorry. Glad Priscilla what? just yelled from the other side of the room that we can't make Fushigi canon, and I'm <laughs> sorry, honey, you are about six months too late. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's already canon that Jet can do Fushigi. Right. I love that that's the one thing that made it through this book. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, so Fushigi exists. Wonderful. We have been through... A uh, murderer. Uh, yeah, but you're saying all these kind of weird Lord of the Rings fantasy things. Yes. Like, nothing, you know, based in reality. Like, the only thing that you said is based in reality is Fushigi. <laughs> nothing is realer than Fushigi when it comes right down to it. I, love I don't know. I think I met a time wizard once. <laughs> 
No, Wait, that really? was a hobo on the train, Edith. <laughs> yeah, he he said he was a time wizard. <laughs> Stop making jokes! Stop making jokes! <laughs> at this point, you have to imagine Brooke is like palms together. Like at, at that point, she was just dead-eyed, staring flatly at Jet after the PG comment. Just okay, all right. Listen, listen, honey. I, you said that you liked me because of my humor. That's very true. Oh, okay. All right. That's one more thing that made it through at least. Okay. All right. <laughs> Edith, you're pretty much fine. Unless, do you fight people for money at this point? I don't know about this universe. Things are slipping away at this point. <laughs> no, I run a gym. <laughs> Close enough. You know what? I'm going to say it's 80% there. Honey, what do you do? I think we said uh, me? Yeah. I'm a comedian. Well, I'm glad you got to p- turn that into a profession. Uh, Timmy, you're not a janitor at a hospital. You're actually a proficient healer. Also, you're normally about 10 feet tall and incredibly hairy. Because you're a bugbear, not a human. Honey, you're also a hyena woman. You... God, Wait, okay, you... all right. I yeah, normally eight feet, well, not normally, but I was eight feet tall and green hours ago. Oh my god. I love this. Wait, are you in uh, honey, Alien? To this world, I guess I am. Although what's alien to me right honey. now is the fact that why is my stomach guggling? Stop the laughter! <laughs> <laughs> honey, 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 you said that you wouldn't tell anyone about those drawings I showed you. Drawings? Wait, were there drawings of me? You, know, me as a hyena. Those, uh, those were secret drawings. They're not drawings. They're real life. Oh, oh okay. God. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> this is going so well. <laughs> is it? <laughs> is is there know? still gas coming out of that ship? Should we look into that? No, it stopped. So, did anything, like, specifically tripwire the gas? Uh, roll investigate. Okay. This is great. This is, one, this is the one session after I bumped investigate down. Yeah! Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll investigate on the ship, too. Because, sure, like, sure. asking if we should look uh, into that was supposed to be in character, but I'm bad at distinguishing my voice sometimes. Uh, sure, sure. That's a four. Uh, that's a five. Okay, yeah, uh, you both can see that there is sort of a uh, pressure plate under the floorboards uh, just off the landing to the staircase. Um, looking over, the, the tube full of blue glowing liquid is uh, empty now. You think that it was probably uh, being pushed out in sort of an aerosol form. Uh, and, Brooke, you kind of uh, flash back to the uh, Bone Canyon... And you realize it was the same liquid that the uh, hippocampuses uh, coughed up when they were uh, defeated. Is there any more liquid that I can find on the ship? No. <laughs> Fuck. Womp womp. <laughs> okay, alright, so. Alright. So what do you think this thing did? I think, honey, you need to just trust me, and we're going to get you help. I I think it may have done something to your brain. It did do something. Well, it did something to their brain. It fixed my brain, not the body situation. God, I hate this weird body. I I mean, let's level with Brooke for a second. We did see a weird rainbow void on the outside of that door. Okay. I'm okay, willing to true. buy that something that we don't entirely understand is happening. Okay, I guess that's fair. Okay, yeah, that's... Uh, Brooke and Timmy, I will say, there is a, a glowing, uh, small, like, glass panel on the console of the uh, machine, also. Uh, Timmy messes with I... it. <laughs> yeah, let's check that out. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let me think. The ship starts to, like, whir up 
and then there is a loud, like, <laughs> but nothing actually happens. It almost felt like a car misfiring, and that glass panel goes, uh, well, well, to Timmy, it feels like a car misfiring. Uh, the, uh, panel goes dark, and then after a few seconds, it starts to glow again. Alright, so I'm guessing this is essentially the ignition. To a, right. to a pirate ship? Listen, I know a lot about the world we come from. This whole thing, this is the new thing to me. All right. Did we try the other door yet? Uh, um, you haven't opened it yet, no. Uh, Jet checked on it. Let's try and open that sucker. Brooke cracks her knuckles and immediately, like, gasps at what she just did. <laughs> 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 Uh, I don't know what your problem is. You do that all the time. Do I? I mean, I was Why actually gonna. I? We were actually kind of talking about it. It is kind of getting a bit annoying. <laughs> annoying? I think you mean horrifying. That's probably why you were gonna break up with her in the original plot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check the other door. Okay. okay. Uh, Brooke. Yeah. Uh, I guess roll physique on the door. Uh, what's my physique? Out of curiosity. Oh, okay, that's more than one. That's good. All right. I mean, yeah, uh, it's still a two. I, I rolled all neutrals. Yeah, the door is, like, stuck. Uh, can Timmy try it? Yeah, go for it. All right. Steady uh, yourself, Timmy. All right, that's a six. Yeah. Uh, Timmy's going to brace himself yeah, like, I, with the yeah, door frame. You, you learned from last time. You're able to throw the door open. It is the exact same view. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm. What I'm going to say will sound even crazier than everything I've just said. That's a pretty high bar. Yeah, you're go for uh, yes. You're going big. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. But what if? What if go we go big or go home? That's what we always say. And I would maybe like That's to go right. home. If you really want to like go a catchphrase. What if we jump in? Uh, that seems like a bad idea. Okay, but what's a good idea? Not dying. Pr mm. In the void. We fell into this void. And ended up here. We might just get back through that thing. I don't know what back you're talking about. Back, you know back. No, I don't oh. know. No, back. we 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 really we've been over this, but That's we don't. That's the big problem here. Back to Nethria, to our home, Edith. Where you love your mom, your your prize fighter, your your dating strength, I mean, and yeah, you're basically I'm a priestess to be buying of buying my mom a present right now. Uh, Jet is going to grab a book and then like point to the our apartment and like that's my home. No, your home's back in Nethria or just that well, not even the city. Just where you play music, where you're you. You not the <clears throat> shit. Wait, Jet plays music? Are you sure? Yes, she's really good at it. Timmy, what about Zazzy? Do you well, remember I, Zazzy? I played a bit in college. Uh, what about did, who? You... What? Zazzy? Okay, I, right. I have no idea who... Wait, was that the I... name of the hobo who tried to tell us he was a time wizard? Oh, that's <laughs> what, that's what, You could say that's one Zazzy. That's not the other one that I meant. <laughs> I just... Really, none of you remember anything. I, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Uh. I'm honestly willing to go for it. I want to know what the hell's going on here. Oh, so you want to jump in the void? <laughs> I mean. Kinda, yeah. 
I mean, listen, there's a space, there's, there's a, a pirate ship in a TV studio, and, like, we went through the wall. Brooke, uh, and, like, roll notice, uh, looking out the door to the void. Right. I mean, in fairness to Brooke, we might just be having a shared hallucination right now. We might all just be passed out on, on Jet's floor. Uh, that, that's a five. Five. Uh, you can, uh, before that, can I just go, did I leave the oven on? <laughs> right. Hold on. Yeah, nope. Thank you, Luke. Nope. <laughs> uh, Brooke, as that laughter hits, you look out and you can see shadows in the colors. And they're they're sort of amorphous and hard to make out. But uh, they are gigantic, and you get the sense that they're what's laughing. And that maybe going uh, out there without a ship is a dangerous idea. Okay. All right, I guess let's go, and Jens is going to start like... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, now just... in. All right, answer me one more thing. In this world, uh -huh. do any of us know someone called Lies? Oh, okay. you know you. You just met. We we just talked to her. Yeah. You say that I mean, like we, we're I mean, we friends don't know her that her. well, but she's Jet's ex, right? Yeah, that's cool. All right, we're getting the fuck out of here. Okay, so. <laughs> How about this for a compromise? Let's not jump into the void. Let's maybe try and push this, sh push this ship back into the void with us on it. Uh, you want me to push the ship? I mean, I mean yeah, Edith, that's, you're that strong. I mean, she helped bring my, my sofa up the stairs, but I don't know yeah, if she's I don't that think strong. I carry a ship. I'm just you trying to want... apply everything about... <laughs> I'm just trying to you... apply every possible thing about this series, like, right. what the series was. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love it. <laughs> Edith, you punched a Frankenstein so hard he exploded. You can push a ship. I mean, that sounds pretty cool, but I don't think I did that. Actually, it's Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> unless he, unless, did she punch a doctor apart? Came pretty close. <sighs> She did punch a doctor. <laughs> what I mean, if... At you know, least let... try. Uh, you know what? Sure, I'll go look at the ship with you. I don't know if I'll push it, though. I mean, I'll try giving it a push. There we go, that's the spirit? Yeah. Come on! Timmy is a big dude. You said he was a bear, right? Yeah, like a bug bear. It's not quite a bear, oh, it's not what? quite a bug, but, you know, like, listen. Wait, so, like, that... I'm simultaneously right. huge and hairy, but also, like, tiny and, like... No, no, the bu the bugs are just a weird holdover thing. Listen, I, I'm i not going to be an expert on your race and culture. That's not that's my deal. Uh, let's push the ship. Let's go, let's go to the ship. Please. Okay. Please. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, sure. Alright, uh, all aboard, I guess. Okay, yeah, um, I'm gonna say this thing is gigantic, and Edith and all five of you, all four of you together could not push it. Hmm. I mean, do you want to look around inside? I'll look around inside, but I'm Actually, not pushing this thing. Out of curiosity now, because I now have all my memories back, can yeah. I roll lore to try and like figure out what this ship needs to get going? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. I think also still within the bounds of of being dumb, uh, sitcom character. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think Timmy's gonna check the power source for the cameras and see maybe if there's something he can figure out. Okay, yeah, uh, I think it all just eventually connects to a power line that goes up and through the wall, like, near the ceiling. So they're, like, outlets, like, extension cords, or... 
Uh, yeah, I think everything connects to, like, one, like, power box that then has a metal cable that is, like, goes along the wall up and through a hole in the wall near the ceiling. Also, that was a two. That was a two. Uh, do you want to try and invoke something? Uh... It's either going to be, I'll write my own story, or I won't let my friends down. I'm going to say either one of those. Yeah, I think either one of those could apply, yeah. Uh, okay. I, I think not let my friends down, I like better. Um, yeah, that's fair. All right, yeah, as hmm. you take a look at it. What, 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 yeah, what, I'm guessing a four is good enough, then. Uh, yeah, yeah, four is good enough. Um, okay, cool. You look back at the machine, and you think back to when you guys were first here, which was not that long ago. Probably it's. I mean, time has a weird concept right now, but you remember it not being that long ago. It was I right, mean, really yeah. like maybe an hour ago tops uh, from your perspective. Right. Uh, but uh, you remember that Timmy was investigating this console, and he sort of fiddled with the large dials on the left uh, before Edith pushed what you now believe to be the ignition button, and it occurs to you that the dials might be some kind of navigation system. Okay, then. Um, Broca's... Do I recognize anything, like, with the dials? Is there any, like, so it's symbols? Two, it, it, it's three concentric circles. The center one just seems to be an arrow to point towards the middle one. Then the middle concentric circle is covered in uh symbols that you don't recognize they almost look like some sort of runes or something but you don't really recognize them uh and that are they just tv show logos <laughs> no they're not <laughs> they're just sort of like very basic shapes and lines um and uh you can sort of turn that whole inner wheel and it has an arrow pointing towards the outermost wheel which is just covered in little notch marks that are occasionally marked with numbers and it goes from 0 to 100, but it's extremely granular. It's to, like, the probably, let's say, thousandth place in decimals. Like, it's an extremely fine-tuned uh, <clears throat> apparatus. What are we on right now? What are all the dolls set to at the moment? That's a good question. Let me think. Uh, let's say we are on... The rune that is picked, let's go with two vertical lines, and the numbers are set to, let's say, 45.393, and I'm going to write that down so I can recall it later. 25.393. Um, to the Seinfeld wiki. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will tell you right now, I just pulled that number out of my ass. All right, all right, all right. I just figured um, we might need it as a reference point. So, right, what about what about what about the symbols? Uh, do what are the other symbols? Or like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there. Let's see. Let's go with. Let's say. T there's twelve, and let's say there's the two vertical lines. There is a triangle. A star, a circle with sort of a less than sign sticking out one side. Almost like a circle with antenna or something. Uh, right. A, almost like a comma shape. And that's, let's see, that is five. Uh, let's say there is a, just a plain circle. There is an X. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Uh, let's go with a square. A uh, two horizontal lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we need three more. Uh, let's say a trapezoid. Uh, something that looks like a backwards capital N. Okay. And a W with a horizontal line going through it. 
Oh, the Wulong sign from Cowboy Bebop. Okay, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, uh, I had mic muted. Can I? Can you repeat those? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I, I, I and will so those, on here and yeah. say this is not like a, an explicit puzzle to solve, but we will. No, learn, no, no. We can learn like, more information is... about it, like as we go, and you can like make progress just by noting what things are. So, so are you typing that down. I remember pretty much all of it. I can I can recite it all again if you I want to. I heard somebody like... typing. Oh, that was me typing. Do you have the symbols, Luke? Did you uh, write them down? I just did, yeah. Okay, can you, like, paste them somewhere so I can look at them? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh... I know you just, like, made it all up, but still. No, no, yeah, yeah, if you want that for reference. I'll put it, it's in our Skype chat, and I just put it in the uh, Twitch chat. Thank you. W minus, that person ain't passing. Yeah, the, the W minus is just my notation for the W with a line going through it. And also the N is backwards, yeah. I'm yeah, making yeah, yeah. good jokes, thanks. Yeah, oh, oh, <laughs> let me get the, hold on. <laughs> nope, that was not... No, 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 It's fucked up, Molly could just now hear that around her apartment. <laughs> I mean, it. It's everywhere. But Ashley can't? That's the weird thing? Right, right. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't, I don't, I haven't heard any laughter throughout this entire yeah. thing. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh no! <laughs> you were the first one that heard it, uh, Brooke. You, um, it occurs to you that I mean, you told me that I heard laughter. I didn't hear it. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm doing a funny joke, right, Brooke? It occurs to you that uh, the reason the ship might have misfired is that the coordinates were still set to the same thing. And it didn't actually I'll misfire at all. That. It just took you to the destination you set, which was where exactly. you already are. That's my thinking. So essentially, from what I understand as Brooke, is that if I reset these dials and hit the ignition button, we're in business. That is your understanding, yes. All right. Brooke then turns to everyone. All right. I've got it. Who no. wants to go on a journey? I mean, we kind of already are, but yeah. <laughs> Edith, please, trust me on this. Yeah, okay, person, I barely know who wants to just sit here and suck up laughing gas all day. Great. Perfect. Oh, I wish it was laughing, ga laughing gas that would just make this whole thing a lot more bearable. Timmy, are you in? I mean, I'm in if there's more laughing gas. Uh, I, I haven't been I able to get promise. any of that since I almost got fired. I wow, we're definitely leaving then because Timmy is not this dark in this way. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna set the dial uh, for the symbols to triangle. Okay. I'm gonna set the number. God, it's so tempting to just say 69, 69, 69. Do it, 69, 69, 69. Do, it, do, it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> no, Please, no, no. I don't want to end up in the fuck universe. <laughs> what if it's 69.420? Mm. Nice. That would fit the right fucking in. fucking wild high universe. That would, that would fit the <laughs> format. <laughs> I served a customer today at work, and their total came up to $69.69, and I nearly oh, yeah. died at the camera. I nearly died, and I'm not gonna lie, I straight up mouthed the word nice to myself when I saw that. In <laughs> front of another human being? Yeah, I did that. Did I tell you guys that the uh, engineer for the building came up to me the other day, so yeah, it's my 69th birthday, and I <laughs> almost died. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, that's just like that one when, you, when that one weather man found out, like... The joke about 69, so he just turned all, like, everything was 69 degrees as a <laughs> forecast. Oh, okay, anyway. Alright, I'm gonna set it to triangle, and the number is going to be... So, what was the, the highest number it could go to? 100.000. Yeah, thought so. Okay, in that case, then, I'm gonna set it to... Actually, let's say 99.999, just because that makes a little okay, more sense in my brain. Is is the okay, most sure. like all zeros, or is it zero zero point zero zero one, or is it one point oh? Like what's, what's yeah, the like, it goes from zero point zero 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 to one to ninety nine point nine nine nine. And also, okay. what was this? What was it set at before? Uh, do I 
before you, Timmy touched it? Yeah. And you weren't paying attention to it at the time. Shit. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. That's actually, that's a-okay. Um, I'm going to set it to 54.180. On triangle, right? On triangle. Okay. 54.180. Yes. Okay. Okay. You've said it. Is everybody in the ship? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right. The, I the, slam that ignition button. <laughs> the uh, studio fades away, and you are just in this rainbow world. And uh, after a second or two of, you know, going through this void, you feel the same vacuuming effect sucking you towards the uh the hole in the hull oh, oh. I, guess I mean i tried to use my shield on? to leverage myself last time and i don't have that right so. you don't have your shield on you yeah i, th I think uh how, how strong is the pull like uh it's gonna need an eight. Oh, Oofa doofa geez. i'm just gonna let that happen okay yep yeah, I don't think we're supposed to let. Get yeah, no. This yeah. Long. Okay. Uh, is everyone just just getting not not resist not like not effectively resisting it? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think in character we're fighting it, but like let's be right. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, no yeah. way. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Uh, all of you fall out into the void, and uh, you can see the the shapes that Brooke kind of caught sight of. These big lumbering giant forms just barely visible through all of the color uh it's silent out here but somehow you feel like you are uh it, like your eardrums are splitting mm. uh is there anything we can do out here uh no i'm just giving some flavor here as uh okay. everything goes white and you are torn apart Good. And let me pull something up here. Timmy, why don't you go ahead? I'm going to send this just to you, Mike. And, okay. And uh, let me pull you up on Skype so I can just send this to you so no one else sees it. And I'm going to give you some directions on reading this uh, along with it. That I want you to to take in mind as you do. Let me find you on here. Damn it. Okay. Here you are. Okay. Okay, there you go. All right. We used to think Nethria was the perfect town. No one locked their doors at night. You don't need locks when you know your neighbors. Holy shit! <laughs> but deep down, we all knew that there was a darkness in Nethria, waiting to burst forth from the earth like a wellspring. That sooner or later, the town's perfect image would be shattered. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> and that's exactly what happened on the day that Honor's body washed up on the shores of Rainbow River. A no! gunshot wound in her forehead. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know if anyone's watching the chat, but the logo changed. <laughs> Luke, I want you to know right now if we were playing this person, I'll be grabbing you by the lapels of whatever you're wearing and shaking and going, You fucking beautiful bastard, you. <laughs> oh. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Brooke, you are in your bedroom with your buddy Zaz Zazzy. Uh, and no! Just... No! What? Oh, my God! <laughs> what? What? And he's Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> what does this make you? What does this make Jed Ashley? <laughs> oh, I love this! <laughs> no! 
I just need to take a moment. <laughs> Wait, did you say that I was with Zazzy or Brooke? No, Brooke I... is. Okay. So you're Betty. Okay. All right. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. Man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, only a TV show you've seen. Yeah. Barely. Uh, you've seen <laughs> enough. I haven't watched a single second of it, so this is going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that you got Mike to read that then, Luke. You right. fucking... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Oh boy. Continue, Maestro. Okay. Yeah. Brooke, you are in your bedroom with your buddy, Zazzy, uh, just hanging out before the first day of school. Uh, you are both high school students, and... Uh, you haven't seen your best pal and next door neighbor Jet all summer long, uh, and you happen to see them through your window, playing on their guitar, and you realize that they've really gotten into shape over the summer, <laughs> working for her dad's construction company. <laughs> this is really mean to Jet. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the most fucked up thing you've done to Jet, Luke. <laughs> what, make her into Archie? Yes. Listen, I just want people to listen to my music. I think it says a lot. Oh, no. Uh, well, now I'm imagining the, the nightmare Archie had, except instead of the instead of the jocks wearing wolf heads in the theater, it's hyena heads. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, never be okay. Do you want to say? Do you say anything in character here, Brooke? Either to Zazzy or like you can pick up your phone and either call or text Jet. Oh, that's a weird concept to have in our game, actually. Like, right? I, I just saw someone like talking about like imagine like the characters in your world that would not have the internet. Uh huh. Imagine how they would react to the internet. Yeah. And like, so that's just. It's like, yeah, I guess we got. <laughs> but imagine, but now it's like, imagine how your characters would react to the internet as if they've just had it all their lives. Right. So that's a whole the fuck. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm just turning to Zazzy and going. I don't know if I'm really ready to confess to to Jet yet. Like I, I, I don't know. Like, have you seen you her? And you don't soon. Someone else is going to. I mean, yeah, yeah, I just, uh, I, you know what, you're right, you're right, you're right, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Alright, when? I don't know, maybe next week? Brooke! Okay, fine, alright, 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 you know what, alright, fine, I'm picking up my phone now, and I'm going to text her right now. Alright, yeah, do it. I think I just... <laughs> it's just texting. What, hey Jet. Text her. <laughs> just, it's just it's just sort of hey Jet. Uh, hey is with two Y's. <laughs> so you know it's casual. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very important detail <laughs> that must be maintained. Uh, Jet text back just hi. Jet lower all lowercase. Oh fuck. Okay. Doing anything tonight? Uh, still, uh, oh, dare I, dare I? Yes, oh, absolutely. Oh, dare you? Dare, absolutely dare. Whatever you're thinking, yes. Yeah, dare, dare, dare. Uh, go. Still feeling a bit sore from uh, my dad's, uh, uh, from my dad's job. Winky face. <laughs> oh, I don't. I hate that. I'm. I. I hate that we've established we're saying this out loud instead of typing because I hate this now. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You gotta no, no, just... no, no. Just like, like. Well, oh, I mean, it, it, it wouldn't really work. Well, no, because right. we're, we're streaming this. Because now, because now it's case where okay, we just have to voice act a uh, horny teen text. Great, love yep. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get. <laughs> uh, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. Okay. <laughs> You deserve every second of this. I really do. Oh. <laughs> this is honestly too light of a punishment. Uh, <laughs> just get a text back. 
If you're not too sore, want to ha- Okay, what what is Oh, actually, wait, what is the equivalent of pops? Like um you tell me. I mean, like it would be Zazzy's probably, but But then that would that would warp the canon so much. Oh, I mean, it would be Zazzy's pizza. I guess in this version of the canon, Zazzy is not the sheriff's son, he's the son of Zazzy's ear. That's so weird. Okay, all right. <laughs> Well, if you're not too sore, want to hang out at Zazzy's? It's been too long. We got to catch up. Yeah, sure. I don't know where his house is, though, lol. <laughs> I mean the pizza place. Th- that was, that was uh, just T-H-O. T-H-O, yep. Uh-huh, yep. Just... Uh, and then <laughs> I knew face with a like, tongue sticking out of, of it. It's weird when you describe an emoticon like that, and that actually sounds horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> like, co- you know, colon B, not like the full right, emoji. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what'd she say? I'm meeting her at Zazzy's tonight. Oh, wow. Well. Your... All right. Yeah. Well, I'll leave you to it then. We cut to Zazzy's Pizza tonight. <laughs> uh, Jet Man broke roll notice. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, that is. Uh, that's a one. Okay. That's a three. Uh, Jet, you feel like weren't you just? You, you feel like you almost have some lost time or something. Like you know you had plans to come here, but wait a second, we're, are you already here? Really? Uh, okay, that's. You just, you must have just zoned out. You are, after all, a stupid, sexy teen. Um. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh. Timmy is sitting at the counter uh, with a plate of a burger and fries that he's almost in taunting of the audience, just not actually eating the burger. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I, I really have to try and get into character. If you're going to put a burger in front of me, you expect me not to eat it. But, um, <laughs> well, yeah. The thing, they never just let Jug- Jughead eat a fucking burger on this show, Mike. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I hate it. I they hate it so much. I don't even like, watch the show, and I hate it. Sitting there with a burger that he's ordered, but they never show him just taking a bite of it. <laughs> they, they've been doing better. Yeah, lately they have. But he's, he's not a burger-obsessed oh, boy. Oh, thank God. He's not a burger boy. <laughs> uh, when, after the Pops gave his giant long speech about how the angel of death has come to Riverdale. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, oh, do you want some food? And, like, J- Jughead just being, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was very good. Yep. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, you, Jet and Brooke are sitting in a booth at Zaz's ears. Uh, so how has your, uh, summer been? How is your, uh, you had the internship, right? Yeah, the internship, uh, it was, it was alright, um, you know, like, they said they'll call me back, but you know how that always goes. Yeah, you were, uh, hanging out with the literature, right? Or, what was the... Language. You language. were hanging out with the language, yeah. right? You saw, you got to meet her, right? Yeah, no, she was really great. Like, really nice. Uh, better than I expected, to be honest. But, uh, I don't know. You, you know me. I'm just, I'm not that great of a writer, so... Mm. Uh, Brooke, don't be about that. You're a great writer. I'm just I mean, we'll really, see. I'm just really great and glad to be back home, and I'm glad you're back home, and all our friends can be back together again. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really glad about that, too. So how was uh, working at your dad's construction yard? Oh, you know, it's difficult. Scott sore a lot of the times, but um, I started working on something. Yeah? Uh, I started writing music. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I need a minute. <laughs> So good. This is so good. This is so good. <laughs> oh, that's great to hear. Have you finished writing anything yet? Uh, I mean, I've, I've got a few things like written down and uh, one or two things like even recorded, but I don't know if I, I'm ready to show anyone yet. Ready to show me? Yeah. You're not just anyone. 
Oh, Jet. Jet, did you bring your guitar to the pops? To Zaz's ears, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, come on, absolutely for that? 100% yes. <laughs> yeah. It's it's actually pretty empty in here tonight. Just uh, your old pal Timmy at the counter, and uh, obviously Zaz's ears here. Uh, where's Edith? Yeah, I'm yeah. really like, who is Edith? Like, mm, who indeed? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, Jet pulls out. It's like it's funny you mention, and then pulls out. <laughs> no, pulls out a ukulele. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, let's hear it. Okay, I can't write like just music, but <laughs> <laughs> Is it Wonderwall again, please? <laughs> I said maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, Ashley just posted this in the chat, but she posted a good question. Is Timmy just in Jet's head, though? <laughs> Definitely. I was going to say, Luke, have you finally made your, your no, AU listen, come? No, this is not an excuse for me to validate my, uh, <laughs> my fan theories. Uh, obviously... You are not abusing the position of GM enough, good sir. <laughs> Listen, obviously, Jughead, uh, was tra as an imaginary friend, was transferred to Betty, who's now keeping the illusion alive. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no. Man, now I've got some ideas. You said that I kind of like the idea of like a tabletop campaign where one player is just playing another player's imaginary friend. That does sound pretty good, actually. Yeah, that does actually sound really dope. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. Hold on. <laughs> anyway, uh, Jet, you start uh, to play some music. And then, um, Jet roll notice. Uh, that would be a four. A four, okay. You feel like a louder song uh, cuts you off. For a second you think someone must have put a song on the jukebox, but they haven't. But it's almost like it's... it's... been years since that's worked. <laughs> uh, it, you can't, it's almost... The feeling goes away just as suddenly as it got here, but for a second you could swear you can hear a slow, sad cover of Little Lies by Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> as the... <laughs> you mother God. As, uh... Look, you really did just pick the perfect song. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> As the bell rings and a figure wearing, of all things, a cloak and a hood walks in. And they turn and lower the hood and it is a shockingly beautiful girl about your age who uh, heads into the diner and takes a seat across from you. Uh, hello. Oh, uh, Hi. Uh, you, I don't remember seeing you around. Uh, what's your name? Oh, my name's Lies. Uh, my family just moved here from New York. Oh, wow. oh really? Super interesting. Uh, let me yeah, think for a second. Uh, jet roll notice. Oh, that's three negatives. That's just, that. I ended up getting a one on that. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Appropriate for Achi. Right. <laughs> Actually, uh, Timmy, you can roll notice, too. Alrighty. That's still a bad stat. Sure. That's a one. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I think I think Timmy uh, just broods some more and doesn't eat the burger. Right. <laughs> Looks back to his laptop. Bag, like... <laughs> yeah, T Timmy, you have a notebook with you where you are collecting uh, information on the murder of Honor because you're trying to solve that mystery. Huh. Wait, what mystery am I trying to... Oh, the murder. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. The, the Stone family works scarily well with the... Right? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 
Anyway, yeah, so she just said that, yeah, she moved here from New York. I think uh, I think Timmy writes that down. Yeah, okay. Re- yeah. New York. Yeah. And then Old York? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Who is York? I'm just imagining Timmy with, like, his hair, like, long enough that it could be in front of his face, but combed to the side. You know what was bullshit? I went to the I went to the Hot Topic today because I wanted the good clothing, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they had a giant Riverdale sign out front. Mm-hmm. I almost took a photo in front of it, uh-huh. uh, and, but they did not have Jughead's hat. What? What the fuck? That's so messed up. Some bullshit. What? What? I did stare at the, at the shirt that just said head bitch in charge for a while. Right. <laughs> nice. That's like a thing we have to go, can I warrant buying this and wearing it more than once? Can I ever wear this? Right. Where it just, can I well, wear to this? be fair, it just says HBIC. Oh, okay. Well, that's perfect. Oh, You're yeah. Gonna... No, actually, I would totally get that. I'm going to eat those Cheryl, words later. Cheryl on, right? wears it. Yep. It's her cheerleading outfit. Yeah, she just has a cheerleading so uniform that she's customized with HBIC. God, God yeah. Riverdale's a good show. It's a very good show. <laughs> but yeah, well, how are you responding to uh, Lies Ronica? <sighs> well, well, please, Verona <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Lies Ronica is one of my favorite ships. Yeah. Uh, oh, come and uh, sit down. It's always good to meet someone new. Especially what? someone uh, who's, you know, far from uh, what they used to call home. Oh, Brooke man. is just staring at the jet right now. <laughs> like, really? Really? We're doing this? Really? Okay, we're really doing this? Cool. You, you, great. You're just well, pulling yeah. one of the great Betty faces. Yeah. No, it's just like, <laughs> okay. All right. Like. <laughs> uh, she says, oh, well, uh, I mean, I don't want to interrupt anything. No, it's just, you know, a couple friends having fun. My yeah. little another. Okay, okay, sure. And she uh, she gets up and and sidles into the uh, the booth. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which side of the booth she takes because <laughs> I don't remember. Listen, my memory of the exact details of episode one of Riverdale are now exhausted. <laughs> hmm. uh, she doesn't actually sit down. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Uh, I don't. Why is she in that diner? <laughs> uh, She's she picking up picking... burgers for her mom. Right. Yep. Okay. Yes. 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 Uh, that's fine. Uh, she, I guess she'll sit next to, uh, to Brooke. Hi, I'm Brooke. Uh, nice to meet you. So, New York car must be a big change from coming all the way here, you know, little town we've got. Oh, you have no idea. This is, this is a bit of an adjustment. So, here for long, or... Uh, yeah, I, I think I am. Great. <clears throat> great. So great. We cut to the following day. Uh, everyone who was in that scene will notice. Everyone other than Molly, basically. I'm really curious where Edith is. <laughs> no, that was another one. That's a one. Uh, that's a five. Uh, Brooke, you have a weird sensation like what like everything is just slipped away you're not anywhere uh it's almost and then that like fades and you fade because you're not in this scene uh jet is though uh jet you're trying i'm the star (laughs) it's me (laughs) jet you're trying out for the football team um after the unfortunate murder of the previous captain honor there's a gap in the team and you've been you know kind of You've gotten a lot more fit over the summer, and uh, you'd like to try oh. out. Go ahead. God, I love the image, because I want Jet to be the same height. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she's trying out for quarterback. Uh, you are immediately drawing the stink eye of uh, one of the other leads of the football team, Edith. Oh, no, of course she is. Yeah, of course, yeah, she, of is. course she is. Of course <laughs> she is. I was waiting for that. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're going to have to replace Edith midway through this season. Yeah, uh-huh, we're going to have to get a different actor to play Edith. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice knowing everyone. 
Don't worry, Molly. You're gonna be. You'll come back when we do the uh, universe based on thirteen reasons. I was gonna say. Also, <laughs> also <laughs> by by this logic, then that means Jughead and Kevin are canonically a couple. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> boy, oh boy! <laughs> be a real different season. <laughs> be a better season. Well, that's not fair. Right. That season was pretty good. Uh, there are two lines of tires to jump through, and as it just so happens, Jet and Edith, you have to run the obstacle course at the same time. Not the obstacle course, but the, the tire run thing. I don't know football, but they do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, you've seen the sports. Yeah. The, uh, the <laughs> I've seen enough pretty good uh, by John Boyce. You understand football. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, I watched a movie with football in it. Uh, I just rolled athletics, and I need you to know it's six. Okay. Yeah, the, the coach just says, ready, go! And you both take off running through the, the tires and jet roll to six. What does uh, Edith roll? Oh, you want me to go do uh, Athletics isn't going to go well, I'll well, tell you that I right mean, if now. You, if you want to make the case for physique, I'm listening. I could do physique. I mean, I, how much of a case do I need to make? I mean, it's football. all physical activity. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, nope. That's a uh, three. Okay. Yeah, uh, Edith, you put up a good show. You're, you know, I mean, you're a good footballer. But uh, Jet manages to outpace you and get to the end faster. And kind of... No, I mean, maybe not a quarterback, maybe defender. Yeah. And uh, Edith, you're kind of left sort of uh, doubled over, panting, and you feel uh, humiliation and anger towards Jet. Uh, okay. Uh... We're still in the middle of this. Oh, fuck it. This is fucking Archie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hey, yes, this is the attitude I need to hear. <laughs> yes. We need Edith to talk to ask if I had sex with any MILFs this year. God, no, I won't do that, probably. Uh, Edith walks up to uh, Jet and f- shoves her. Uh, and she goes, the fuck you doing here? Trying out. This isn't your team. I mean, I go to school here. <laughs> God, you don't belong here, Jones. I'm Jones. I'm just Andrews. <laughs> what? Oh, no, you're Jet Jones still. You're, Jones, you're yeah. still Jet. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's Jughead Jones, so I thought, like, wait. Right, right. <laughs> wait, hang on. <laughs> Ashley, you named your character. Oh. I did, but also I, I forgot. I thought you would get it. <laughs> I was I was too into playing Jet as just Archie. Right, right. You got too into the character. <laughs> Listen, I don't know Archie's last name. You know, what do you want from me? <laughs> He's got the same initials for the first and last name. <laughs> okay. Uh. Listen, I'm just... You had an opening, I'm trying out. Don't get mad at me because you weren't able to do it. Oh, I'm already okay. on the team. <laughs> yeah, but... You're not a quarterback. Yeah, I'm a defender. <laughs> Listen, you get on this team, we'll see who covers you. Because I bet it's not going to be anybody. <laughs> Uh, Jess is gonna, like, take out, like, hold her helmet, kind of, like, look at it for a bit, and I'm like, just like, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have much more, guys. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> uh, let me like, think. I, I, I pictured, like, you, like, walking away as you're saying that. Yeah. Right. And then, like, all the emotional, like, hmm, like this. Yeah. Uh, let's speed things up a little here. We cut to... Uh, the, the, uh, what, Chet Stone's party that he's throwing at his stately manor for all the, uh, kids in his grade. Great. Uh, everyone is there, even Timmy, because he's got some suspicions about the Stone family that maybe they're tied to the murder somehow. Alright. So he, you're just brooding in a corner. <laughs> you're just in a lot of corners, Timmy. <laughs> You've got a solo cup. Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> you, but it has nothing in it. It has <laughs> nothing in it, but I still wrote my name on it in marker. You brought a paper bag from uh, uh, Zaz's ears and reach in and take a burger out of it and start eating it. Uh, what? Awesome. I kind of want to know what like Timmy Kickflip's name is. <laughs> like his jug head. Oh, oh, yeah. What, that's a good point. Oh, yeah, what shoot. is it? <laughs> What what is the origin of Jughead's name? No clue. In the show. Oh, they just yeah. Uh, there's kind of like. Hmm. <laughs> oh, um, how about just base... Bugbear? I guess. Oh, that's good. All right, yeah, Bugbear. Yeah, I like it. Bu- yeah, that's really good. good. <laughs> Bughead. Bug- yeah, no, that's already a thing. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, because that's what they call the ship between Betty and Jughead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to this wonderful world. That <laughs> ship name. Yeah. Uh, I, I do. I do know why uh, Jughead got his name in uh, the uh, comics, at least the modern version of it. Okay. Why was it again? Uh, he used to be rich. Oh. Uh, and then his dad opened up a. I'm not fucking joking here. Like, made an investment in a jug factory. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh my god. And uh, it went south and uh, Jughead became poor. Okay. And everyone, to make fun of him, uh, started calling him Jughead. Wow. Okay. They just took it as a moniker. Wow. Alright. That's fucked up. Great. I hate tea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this is more like when he was like in elementary school. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are at the party, and let's say uh, Edith and... Uh, let's have everybody roll notice. That's a goose egg right there. Uh, that's a one. That's yep, a two, six. sorry, two. That's a four. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, Brooke and Timmy, you don't notice anything. Sorry, Brook and Bugbear. Uh, <laughs> Jet and Edith, uh, you have a sense like, wait a second, weren't you just arguing on the football field? What are you doing here? I, Cheryl's party wasn't until tonight. Wait, it is tonight. What's going on? Are you on that jingle uh, jangle? <laughs> Probably, yes. No and Edith. She's all on that jingle jangle. Jet, you look down and you realize that uh, Chet has started a game of spin the bottle and you are the first uh, person who has to spin the bottle. And I'm not even Uh, going to try to give Chet much dialogue here because I could not possibly equal Cheryl's incredible dialogue. (laughs) I would embarrass myself. (laughs) Uh, Cheryl, let me spin it. I'm spinning a fidget spinner. I don't know if you can hear it. Great. Good. Good. Uh, let's see. Should we, like, actually roll a dice? Like, no, what's going I, on? I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, okay, you got, uh, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Like, we just kind of, like, look at each other and, like... Just shake, <laughs> shake your head. No, no. It's like, listen, I don't care what you do in there, but you are going in that closet together for seven minutes. <laughs> Eh, well, I'm used to being in there. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> TV Timmy throwing dark. <laughs> How is Brooke reacting to this? Because she still hasn't confessed to Jet. Brooke's just going, Jet, you, you don't have to, you don't have to really do this. It's just a dumb game. Like, come on. Yeah, no, it's just a dumb game, but I haven't talked to for a while, you know, give me some time. I mean, yeah, like, you know what? I trust you. It's Timmy. It's you and Timmy. It's fine. Like, what's the worst that could happen? All right. Yeah, you two. Right. Uh, yeah, we go into the closet. I guess. So everyone sees the two of you go in the closet and close the door. We cut to inside the closet. Both of you roll notice. Oh, that's Ooh. a negative two. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh no, um, he's, he's for the Timmy's character. gonna be trapped in TV world forever. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a six. That's a six. Jet, you have felt weird all day. Time feels like it keeps skipping, and it felt like you almost like didn't exist for a second or two. But how the closets around you and you do it's it's a strange sensation. And you look and you see that a what looks like the the front of a like a pirate ship has crashed through the closet of uh, Cheryl's house. You mean Chet's house? Chet's house. They have similar names. Yes. <laughs> well, since we're going to be staying in here for a little bit, how have you been? I don't think we've really spent a lot of time together lately. Uh, I'm g- good. Ch- Chet's got a weird house. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's it's one of those like you know newfangled modern architecture. It's 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 bullshit. Uh, yeah. No, I did. I've, I've seen... Oh, I need to come up with a great name. <laughs> uh, Featherwood. Yeah, I've seen Featherwood before. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Yep. I've not seen the pirate ship in the closet. Pirate ship? Uh, Timmy, you hadn't really noticed it until Jet said something, but holy shit, yeah, there's a pirate ship in here. Uh. (laughs) Like, I know they're rich assholes, but usually you'd want to show that off. How did that even fit in here? I'm not really sure, but I I was in the kitchen, which I think is right across from here, and I probably would have noticed the other part of this ship. Yeah, that... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, listen, this town is bullshit, but it usually still adheres to physics. Usually. Um, I love Mike trying to BS his way through doing Riverdale-esque dialogue. (laughs) (laughs) It's very good. Thank you. Uh, I guess we'll go investigate the ship. Like, uh, like, how how small is this closet? Like, is it literally just the normal closet space and then the ship? Or, like, what's going uh, on? Yeah, like, you see the front of the ship crashing through, like, the back wall of the closet. And as you sort of push past it, you, uh, you know, the the plaster sort of falls away. And the, the, the rest of the ship is here. And there's just, you're in, like, a dark void, almost. But yeah, there's clearly, like, a floor uh, that the ship and, and you are, are resting on. Okay, yeah, this is freaking me right the hell out. It's really weird. Should we tell someone about this, or...? I mean, we can't come out for seven minutes. (laughs) Yeah, that's the rules. That is the rules. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, There is a a large hole in the hull of the ship, uh, which might be easier an easier way to get into it than getting up onto the deck. Uh, right. I climb through the hole. Okay. I, I follow her in. Uh, there is a large machine in here with a, a series of concentric circles that look like dials and a tube of a strange blue liquid next to it. Uh, there's a staircase leading up into the ship uh, to your right, and next to that is a large uh, uh, sort of hole that could fit probably something about the size of a beach ball in it. Huh. Hmm. What the hell's this uh, doohickey? Jet's gonna hold the uh, liquid. Like, pick up the thing it's in. Okay, it's sort of uh, attached to the machine. Sort of suspended up in the air. Okay. <laughs> I just... I know that both Jet and Archie would yeah. do the stupidest thing yeah. in the world. Right. Yep. I think, I think I you could probably, you... like, yank it loose if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, sure, let's do that. Okay, you pull it loose. This is sort of the size... This is maybe... I'll say three to four inches in diameter and maybe five feet long. And just sort of a cylinder with a uh, small opening on one side. That apparently is closed somewhere inside the thing. 
Je- we found a freaking pirate ship in a closet, and you broke it immediately. Shut up. I'm just looking at stuff. What is that thing? I'm not really sure. It doesn't look like any kind of liquid I've ever seen, and I already saw some of uh, Chet's liquor cabinet. Yeah, yeah, they've they've got a pretty decent collection of liquids here. I'm say. not gonna lie, I thought that I thought that Jet was gonna try and vape this shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, this Jet, this Jet does not vape. This is your one chance. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's the imagining action figure. <laughs> What are you going to do with that thing? I don't know. It just kind of looked the most interesting. Uh Uh-huh. Guess I could vape it. (laughs) (laughs) God damn it. Damn it. Okay, but there's a lot in there, so uh, we'll we'll split it. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I've heard a pass in the pipe, and this is ridiculous. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, the uh, the tube is, like, slightly flexible, and you can sort of squeeze it, and uh, gas comes out of the nozzle when you do. <laughs> Christ. I guess it's really just a very big vape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, see, there's a nozzle. You can just vape it. This is just a vape rig. Alright, are you taking a whiff of cotton, Jet? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess this is, like, blueberry flavored. Uh, alright. You you vape the memory juice. <laughs> <laughs> alright, I'm tweeting that one. <laughs> <laughs> and as you do, memories come flooding back to you. Memories of being a comedian living in New York. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, the memory's gonna go back one. Oh no. This is some good shit. This is like half the age you're supposed to be. What the hell is going on, Jet? I'm not supposed to be hot. <laughs> that's a that's a weird sentiment, but okay. <laughs> Are you alright? Like, how, how did that taste? I... Timmy. Timmy. Yeah? Don't you work at a hospital? No. <laughs> Wait, where, uh, does Jughead have a job? No, he's a teenager. Well, the <laughs> teenagers can have jobs. <laughs> That's true. That's okay, true. I like that implication. <laughs> No, I'm not, I don't work anywhere. I'm not working for the man. <laughs> That's a very Jack headline. <laughs> Fuck your system. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, that's... this. Is, Timmy's... <laughs> Mike is playing Timmy playing Jughead <laughs> if, if if Rivido, like, really was just completely a regular CW show right, and had right. no, like, self-awareness. <laughs> yeah. That's the only point of reference I have. Right. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just if just take just take it just take it. Um, I don't know. Your first response was I shouldn't be hot. <laughs> but all right. And uh, okay, Timmy takes a hit of it. Okay, yeah, you remember your life uh, as uh, Jet's wacky neighbor, the janitor at the hospital. Well, hey, everybody! Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Put it back. Put the vape back Put in the vape. Put the vape back in the vape. Put the vape back in the vape. Put the vape back in the, uh, vape. The vape back in the, vape back in the chamber. Now, oh, no. you guys did not just <laughs> rapidly release all of it the way the pressure plate does, so there is still some memory juice in there. No. Uh, can I take another hit? Uh, no. you do, nothing happens. Mm. I think we need to give this to the other people. Okay. Why? 
Uh, it made <laughs> us remember. Yeah, but didn't it also make Brooke crazy? Well, I don't think it made Brooke crazy. I think it did... Okay, we're obviously not anywhere near my apartment. And you're dressed like... I don't know, what the fuck is that hat? Oh, um... I don't remember, but it seems like something I'd wear. Yeah, honestly, yeah, that is something kind of... <laughs> but we look like teenagers. Like, I think something weird is going on, and it would probably be good to have everyone on a slightly similar page. I've got this weird sensation that I, like, I ate a burger, but I don't remember doing it, and I feel cheated out of a burger experience. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna go out of the closet. Okay. Uh, yeah, you taking. Yeah, it's coming the, out. The, oh. Yeah, the tube with you. <laughs> I'm taking the vapes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chet Lexi says, "What the heck is that?" Found your. Uh, nothing. Who the hell are you? He, he, Timmy does remember like what was going on. It's just the details. Oh. Like the details of your past are a little hazy now. Like. Okay. Like I said, it's kind of like waking up from a dream. You remember kind of the immediate last details, but the further back you try to think, the more, like, jumbled the memories get. Whereas, you know, your your history has 30-something uh, okay. in New um, York is crystal clear. Right. Uh, well, hey, kids, who's ready to fucking party? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Brooke, 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 Brooke. Uh, y- yes, 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 Chet? Uh, Lies looks at Chet and says, Yeah, this is really not the kind of party I had in mind. I think I'm just gonna head out. Oh, wait, hold up. Why is Lies here? What? Everyone got invited. I was invited, Timmy. But you weren't on the pirate ship when we did the thing. What? Excuse me? What the fuck are you talking about? Here, oh, we'll okay. show you. It's in the closet. Pirate ship? Yeah, here, fo- follow me. Uh, I, th- I think I'd try and lead them back into the closet. Uh, okay, sure. Let's roll Wait. poor, I guess? C- Wait. Can I try yeah. to get Brooke to take a hit off this first? Uh, sure, yeah. Sure. Let's, let's do that first. You hand the... <laughs> That's the, the most... <laughs> You hand the giant, like, poster tube with a nozzle on it to Brooke. Okay. I don't know, this seems weird. What am I supposed to do with this? But, you're my Uh best friend, right? I mean, yeah. Trust me. Brooke, you can't believe that Jet would be doing drugs in the closet. (laughs) All right, all right, all right. You know what? Fine, fine, fine. Let's do this. All right. Dark, dark bro. Yeah. Take a hit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Brooke, you vape the memory juice, and uh, you remember back to when you were, you know, in Nethria. You, that's the life you remember. Do I remember having to having gone through this whole explanation with them beforehand? Yes, you do. Yes. Oh fucking goddammit. Really? What? What? Is I know. Shit? What am I wearing? What? Is, I'm that, again, 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 again. We we got oh. out of we got out of my apartment somehow, and we got yep. Got out of, yep. And now we're in this super weird place. I, I totally get what you're... Uh, so you wake... Before this, we must have gone, like, from a fantasy show. Get it? Now? Get it. Yeah, we must have been, like, on some fantasy world, and we're just, like, hopping through worlds? You're what getting the there, yeah. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Here, take a hit of this. Listen. Edith, go. Go. I'm, so- I'm sorry. You can be the quarterback. Here, have some vape. What the fuck? <laughs> Can you just spray it in her face? Can I do that? Yeah, you can. Actually, okay, I do that. You spray the <laughs> remainder of the memory juice into uh, Edith's face, 
Edith, you uh, cough uh, and... Uh, I suddenly... hate these sentences! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, and as you're coughing, you suddenly remember uh, where you came from. Which is to say the... Which is to say New York, right? right yes. Yeah, of course. Uh, boy. Um... Oh. Hey, Lies, you said you were from New York, right? Uh, y- yes. <laughs> um... No, she's not. What? No, That's... no. We're gonna stop talking to this. Nope. 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 No. She's a bitch. No. What? Uh, excuse Whoa. me. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, at this listen, point, Brooke I... is. At this point, Brooke is standing in, like between everyone and like lies. Like no, 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 no. I'm sorry, no. Brooke. What's your problem? Have I done something? Mmm. So much. So much. The list really goes on from abo- from creating abominations to trying to kill us, haunting us, to emotionally abusing Jet a huge amount. Wait, what? Now, Brooks, the whole Brooks, shebang. Brooks, Brooks really. been kind of out of it. Listen, what you... we we want to go back to New York, and I think you should probably come with us. I don't know what you guys are smoking, but I have had enough of this. I'll see you guys at school. And yeah, she she storms out of the the room. Real slow. How did she get here? She wasn't in the pirate ship. Uh, Jet says, hey, uh, "Lies, wait, come back." You guys exactly. are ruining my party. You guys are ruining my party. I thought you said Jet at first, and I got so confused. <laughs> 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 yeah, nobody cares about your party, Dweebo. Any, <laughs> let's get back on that ship. All right. Yeah. yeah, I guess let's get back in the ship. Uh, Maybe our next jump will be the jump home. <laughs> you guys all file into the closet. Uh, Brooke, Chet grabs your shoulder as you're walking and says, where do you think you're going? Uh, anywhere but here. Get off me. Yeah, No, you're not going anywhere. Get out of my house. I'm about to, asshole. Give me a second. Uh, roll something, because you're walking into a closet. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, can Can Edith roll fight and hit him? Yeah, sure. Oh, can I roll fight? Yeah. Can can both of us roll fight and both hit him? Sure. Is that nice? Uh, that's a... That's a four. I got a five. Alright, yeah, you both just deck Chet. Uh, Brooke, please just say that's for killing honor. <laughs> oh, that's for, that's for killing honor, you asshole. Uh, the rest of the party gasps uh, at this, and uh, you guys have a moment to storm into the closet. <laughs> Brooke wants to exit the closet backwards, holding both uh, middle fingers up. All right, sure. God, do they blur uh, out? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Well, Netflix, I don't know about that. Like, oh! That's no, it's, CW. it's CW. It is CW, it is CW. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, you guys uh, make your way back into the ship. Um, I assume you put the the tube back? That, yeah, that you makes probably sense. do that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, you're back at the, uh, the console. I mean, what happens if we don't put the tube back? That seems like a bad idea. Let's not find out. Okay. Yeah, so what What now, everybody? Who wants to set the dial next? Uh, ooh, ooh, me, 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 me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Trapezoid, 69.420. Hitting the button. God damn it. God damn God it. Da- Why just, did I let I you do it? I knew you were going to do that. Why did I let you do that? <laughs> yeah. Nice one. Trapezoid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're so lucky you're out of the laugh track dimension. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, hate that there's a laugh track dimension. Uh, yeah, Timmy says it to 69.420 and slams the ignition. Uh, the black void uh, cracks and shatters and falls away to reveal the same kaleidoscopic uh, like vortex that you've been through. And... Uh, 
Uh, everyone roll notice. Oh, boy. That's a two. Oh, that's a five. I got a six. Okay. Uh, as you are being pulled out of the ship's hull again, uh, you can see that the tube of memory juice is slowly filling up. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything about that. Right. Uh, you're thrown from the hull. You see a. Let's see. What? Uh, everyone can roll notice again as you're falling through the the void. Uh, that's another two. That's another two. Yeah. That's okay. a two. <laughs> Okay, uh, you see the, the sort of gigantic shadowy figures, and uh, you can see, let's see, let's go with, you see one in particular that you can't tell if it's moving towards you or you're more moving towards it, and, uh, but it, it's getting closer, and for a second it is visible not just as a shadow but as like a fully realized form and it is a barnacle that seems about as big as a small city and you're falling towards it and towards it and towards it and you can see that it has a mouth which barnacles mm. don't typically have yeah yeah good mm. and uh it whispers but the sound is definitely um, oh great and oh it's the great club <laughs> <laughs> and it just says um you are very far from home mm, okay oh. <laughs> oh. true <laughs> now i do have to admit I don't have any more logos to switch to, so I am sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, it's All right. <laughs> I only have the two. Uh, and uh, everything goes white, and you're ripped apart. And I'm trying to think. Let's yeah, let's go for it. Uh, it's after school. Uh, you are gathered in one of the classrooms. Uh, that's being used. I'll say. If I had time to figure out how to make this logo work, because I didn't know how to write Japanese, so to make it look good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no! Yeah, I, I didn't know how to, like, hunt down Japanese fonts. But it would have said, uh... Maho Gakko Baking Club. <sighs> it's after school. You're all uh -huh. in the classroom. Uh, that is being used for the club that your senpai, Edith, is using to run the <laughs> baking club. <laughs> uh, it's it's a home, rec, a home rec room. Uh, there are some ovens in the back. And uh, all three of you are just gathered in the classroom as Edith walks in. Edith, you're running a little late for the first day of club, which is not a great look. But, you know, it's it happens. You've got a full pizza in your mouth. <laughs> 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 uh i run up to the the front of the room and it's sorry sorry everybody sorry i'm late uh first day of school you know uh but uh are you guys uh, who here okay uh glad to see everybody who's returning from last year that's great uh who's who's new this year everyone other than edith will notice that's a two. Uh, that is a four. That's, that's a two again. God damn it! That's just uh, a two. Jet. You immediately feel like something is strange. Uh, you saw her walk in, but all of a sudden, when she started talking, it was like she was just standing directly in front of you, stock still, and you could just see the words that she was saying just scroll by, like underneath of her. I fucking hate this. It's so good. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, all. Uh, okay. To her question, are any of us new? Uh, you tell me. 
Um, <laughs> you guys are all younger than Edith. Like, let's let's like, start there. T Timmy's the youngest here, so I guess Timmy would yeah, be I, the newest I, one. I, 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 I think, let's say Edith's a third year and everyone else is a second year. Maybe Timmy's a first year. Timmy's a first year. Okay. Yeah, I would say I would say that Jet and Brooke are probably second, and Timmy would be first. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm 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 new here. It's nice to meet you. Name's Timmy. Ah, uh, uh, hey there. I'm Jet. When oh. he says that, uh, it's like Edith just slides out of your field of view, and Timmy slides into it. <laughs> God. <laughs> that. He, he does that pose where, like, he's got one hand behind his head and he right. kind of slouches a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jed, it's actually kind of freaking you out a little bit. Uh... Oh, you rolled out as too high too early. <laughs> uh, J Jet, what's wrong? Uh, are you okay? Uh... What? Uh... I'm, I'm sorry? What? You guys don't know Japanese? <laughs> You're not going to do this whole... Really? I didn't even hear what you said, yeah. Uh, no, I desu? super don't. I don't know why you're asking me. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. no, I don't speak Japanese, Ashley. That's, it's no good. Yeah, I picked up on that, actually, after she repeated it. Oh, great, uh, great job. Jet, Edith asks you what's wrong. Describe to me your train of thought after that question. Like, just, I, I guess, Jet's like, inner monologue. Why can I see her words? You see your own thoughts appearing in front of you in the same sort of textual oh. manner. No! But in parentheses. Right, Why yeah. can I see my words? Do we... Do I, Should I send you to the nurse's office? Are you okay? I'm going through my list of <laughs> Japanese. Japanese. Yeah. yeah, what do you, yeah, what? Why? No one's gonna understand them. <laughs> Listen, I had bits planned. I didn't expect to roll well this week. <laughs> I was gonna call someone Baka. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, you still can do that. <laughs> Oh my god. Vampire, I can take Jet Chan to the nurse's office if you need me to. Uh, yeah, if she doesn't. If she's not feeling well, that's probably for the best. You don't want to cook while sick. Right. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Like, Jet yeah. is just trying not to say, like, as few words as possible. Right. Uh, Jet Brooks slides into your view. Uh, as she talks about taking you to the nurse's, nurse's office. Oh no, this is a dating game. <laughs> Brooke, you take Jet by the hand and move towards the door. Jet, your vision just fades to black. But Brooke, when you open the door, there's just nothing out there. It's all like kaleidoscopic. Like to the... To the like, room the, or to the nurse's the, office? The, the door leading out of the classroom. Okay. So I noticed that? You noticed that, yeah. There's nowhere to go. Uh, hmm. Didn't expect that. <laughs> uh... That's hold on. That's actually throwing me for a loop now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> like, what do I do? Because like, right. I guess. Yeah, actually, as you open the door, uh, Timmy and Edith, you can see that too. Um. Uh, senpai, is that normal? Honey? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I I just came from there. That doesn't seem right. Uh, I'm just gonna go, just cause I, I need to, I need to, I just like, Timmy Chan, you're a baka. <laughs> God. We, Great, need, we that needed that it? sound bite. we needed that sound bite. We definitely did, we definitely, definitely yep. did. Oh, God. Um. I, I wish I, I couldn't pull out the, like, the suffix you use for a younger brother. Right. I mean, that'd be kun. 
Kuhn, yeah. 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 Timmy Kuhn. <laughs> You're a I mean, you, can, like, you can use Chan, but like, yeah, Kuhn would be more appropriate, I guess, yeah. And me. <laughs> <laughs> This is good. <laughs> uh, I think Edith was over helping somebody uh, start what they were doing mm-hmm. and then looks up and sees that and goes, oh, that's not right. <laughs> uh, don't go out there. Um, okay. Wait, so you said... Jet's vision went black. Did she disappear? No. Like, did, did we see her leave the room? No, she's right there. Uh, it's it was almost like Jet was trying to do a scene transition, and then the scene didn't transition. I, I, I found you didn't a, actually leave. I found a, a hard lock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, what does she look like from our perspective? Like, is she still? Is she just like? She's still she, there. She probably has just sort of unfocused vision. I try to think where would the ship be in this scenario? Because like, <laughs> uh, I, I I think I think Timmy like waves his hand in front of Jet's face and maybe tries to, like snaps his fingers a few times. Maybe tries to wake her up. Okay, yeah, Jet, your your vision clears and you're just seeing a portrait of your friend your childhood friend Timmy in front of you <laughs> are, are you okay mm-hmm. like, do I hear anything or is it just all black uh no no like yeah it, the the classroom like comes back into view and you yeah, don't... I said your vision comes back. Yeah, and, yeah. and you don't... Oh, okay, you, sorry. You actually do not hear him talk. You can just read his words. Yeah? And, Jet, as you talk, you don't hear any sound coming out of your mouth, even though you can feel yourself, like, forming the words. You do see text appearing in front of you, though. I, like, grab my own mouth. <laughs> okay. I... Can't hear any of any of you. But I can see all of your words. Okay. Uh I don't know what you're talking about. I mean like there's a little like box down here. And whenever you say anything, there's, like, words appear there. And I'm guessing what that's what you're saying. And if I say anything, words appear there, too. And if I think anything, words appear there, too. Okay, I think she stayed up too late playing games last night. I think maybe we should just go ahead and <laughs> lay her <Ian> down. Senpai? <laughs> no, 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 no. We should... We should put her down over there uh it, it's not she needs her sleep i think <laughs> i mean there's a weird thing outside is it that weird to think that i that all this weird stuff's going on she, i mean kind of everything's weird i mean I, I this is this is my first time but i i is is any of this normally supposed to happen uh, no, the hallway does not usually turn into a vortex, if that's what you're asking. I joined the cooking club, but a vortex opened outside the hallway, and now we're stuck in here forever. <laughs> a light novel com- coming, summer 2018. Doki Doki Baking Club. Uh, oh god, I'm the childhood friend, though. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Um. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Well, that's a good question from Chelsea. Are we still humans? Uh, do you want to be? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then you are. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this could be anything, though. It's anime. <laughs> <laughs> could be anything. That's a great sound clip. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, Jen is still human, but she's got, like, the anime fangs. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. And, like, when she kind of freaks out, it all turns into fangs. Sure, right, right, right. Brooke has a water drop pendant. Oh, that's, oh, that's good. that's very good. Uh, I, I, I think Timmy's just kind of got bare hands. Oh, he's got those yaoi hands. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, your massive fucking yaoi hands, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> Is Timmy a semi or an uke? Like, all right. I can never remember the difference. <laughs> I, I think. Listen, no, Timmy's definitely a bara. Oh yeah, one hundred. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, without a doubt. <sighs> Why did I say anime? <laughs> <laughs> That's the second sound clip. Just play it back to back. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's a rainbow dimension outside of the door and Jet is having a little bit of a freak out. What do you do? Is there anything in the back of the classroom? There's some ovens. It is, is it a all just oven? oven for all. Uh, yeah. I think yeah. So. Uh, I think there's probably also like a cupboard with baking supplies. Uh, um, there are a few desks towards the front, and then between the desks and the ovens are some, like, long tables for, like, workstations. Are there any windows? Yeah, there's windows. Uh, what is out there if I look outside? Oh, just the courtyard of your high school, Cherry Hill High. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe Jet needs some air. I'm gonna open a window. <laughs> Good. You open the window, and the view outside the window moves up with it to reveal more Rainbow Void. Uh, oh, that's not good. And please look, the windows go to the side. Oh, you're right. Excuse me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um... <clears throat> Chelsea's hmm. like some bear paw oven mitts that Timmy definitely has. <laughs> I can't wait until the pizza party game jam when this becomes real. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm just imagining Jet Hyena Kigurumi. Oh, that's cute. Uh, oh, I, w- yeah. I want a Hyena Kigurumi now really badly. <laughs> you know, uh, Jet is definitely wearing like... <laughs> Oh, but then she could also be a punk girl. Uh, hmm. <laughs> so many options. Jet's absolutely like the delinquent in the th- is the thing. Is there a hyena yeah. friend? Uh, no, actually, no, look- actually, <laughs> okay. I actually looked for one. There is an African uh, dog, dog friend, but that is the only one that we don't see a. Uh, we we see a hyena that was turned back into. Listen, it's a thing. Sure, sure, sure. I was gonna say, yeah. Oh. She could, if there was a hyena friend, she could just have a T-shirt with a picture of that on it. Oh God. I mean, maybe in this universe's version of <laughs> of Komodo yeah. friends, there is a hyena friend. Well, like I, there may be one in the uh, like game. Sure. Anyway, we're this. This is we're all we're way we're, off yeah. track. Yep. Uh, that's adorable! <laughs> right? Jules, you have to link it in the chat. Oh, right, yeah. I linked a hyena key, Rumi. Uh, I don't know what to do! Everything's terrible. Uh, <laughs> um, maybe, maybe we're just going nuts because there's, like, a gas leak. I'm gonna check the ovens. <laughs> Great. Yeah, the Good. ovens are all powered off. Is there anything in any of them? No, they're they're clean and ready for baking. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start trying to bake something. All right, I you start think. baking. Maybe, right. maybe she oh, maybe yeah. maybe gets hungry. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe yeah. I'm gonna make. Let's make some muffins. I think. Let's go with uh. Let's go with some banana nut. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And you start making some banana nut muffins in the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna use a stat I've never gotten to use before, I'm gonna roll craft. 
Here we oh go. Oh my god, you actually still have that. That's amazing. Oh, that's a zero. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> They're not very good. They come out burned. Oh, Timmy, I told you to... Ugh. Uh, Timmy Coon. <sighs> I'm sorry. I did a bad job. <laughs> Opposite of Sugoi. <laughs> What do you do? Uh, Garuga Timmy... mesh. <laughs> Timmy takes one of the burnt ass muffins and throws it into the window vortex to see what happens. Uh, it just flies out the window and just goes falling out into the void. Okay, that's all I had. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, like, oh, the panic. Uh, I, yeah, I feel a little lost here. Sure. Yeah, like, the, the other ones, no offense, like, no, seem no, like a very yeah. obvious... Right, yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, right, no, if everyone's stuck, we can, I can call an audible here. Uh, hmm. let's Do you have see. anything else, Mike? I know you're thinking about it. No, that's all I got. I'm trying to think of what else I could try. Because I, I, wa I want to try and solve the... I want to solve the puzzle, uh, Pat, right. but... Uh -huh. um, I, I will say there's maybe... Uh, to think of it. There's maybe a direction you haven't thought of going. Well, I mean... Oh, up? Or down? Like, what's, the lay what's, what's the land of the room? Because I don't think we know that, really. Like Right, so there are... Uh, there's a chalkboard at the front with sort of a teacher's desk. There are, right. maybe, let's say, two rows of three desks at the front, then two long t baking tables, probably with some built-in sinks, and then at the are, back. Are of the we room, the only ones here? Yes. Okay. okay. And then at the back of the room are some ovens, and the cupboard. Okay. Do we uh, get into uh, the oven? Oh, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> seems. <laughs> Like, even in this circumstance, a pretty extreme solution. Listen, I've heard somewhere that ovens are like time machines. <laughs> you need to stop reading so much manga. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Edith is going to go check the cabinets in the back. Magical Time Loop Friends uh, Homestuck Saga. It's just not, it's not good. You probably shouldn't be reading it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you check the cabinets there. Oh, you mean Mahos? <laughs> Mahos. <laughs> I yeah. can't do it. <laughs> yeah, Ma Maho Gako uh, Baking Club. <laughs> Magical High School Baking Club. No, no, I was trying to translate what Mike said into a tra into a Japanese title. Oh, oh, gotcha. Uh, I suddenly forgot what friends mean. <laughs> uh, yeah, Edith, you look through all the, the cupboards and uh, cabinets. There's just baking supplies back there. Um, but as you're looking, you do hear like a, a creaking, like a shuddering of metal and wood where is it coming from uh it's coming from below and holy shit emily drew edith in a yep. with pizza. <gasps> <laughs> so yes. Good. Yes. Yes. yes yes oh yeah, that amazing. Is very, very good oh god yes <laughs> it's all been worth it <laughs> <laughs> The content Luke has wanted since the very beginning. Edith's <laughs> canonical high school uniform. <laughs> oh God, right! Edith went to high school in Willow Wake, so. Oh, oh right. that's right. Oh, yes. right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this might have actually happened. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Uh. Um. Sorry, Luke, you were, in the, you were in the middle of something? Yeah, you were in the middle of saying where the creaky was oh, coming right, from, yes. and then we got distracted. Uh, let's say it's coming from underneath of you. Uh, can you just, like, pull on the floorboards? Uh, I guess? Yeah, I mean, they're nailed down, so I guess give me some physique. Uh, okay. Oh no, that's a one. Yeah, um, uh, you know, you're a, you're a, a real shoujo girl, Edith. <laughs> Christ. Can I 
take a stab at investigating the teacher's desk? Uh, yeah, sure. Take a look at it. Um, I, I won't make you roll investigate because I will say there's there's nothing really there. Oh, uh, all right. You know, there's probably some notes for a lecture. Uh, Edith was, hey, Timmy, you look like you're strong or something. There's something down here. All right. Sounds fair. Um, Timmy, like, gets down on, uh, both knees and one hand and then takes his other free hand and just fucking punches the floor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, roll. I, I, you could make the case for fight or physique. Damn, why did uh, I punch the floor? I would make the case for physique, but that's a... Oh, that was a bad roll. Um, uh, hmm. <clears throat> I want to invoke something, but I don't know what actually still fits in this version of myself. I mean, I think all the aspects fit. You're the same person, you're just in a different yeah. context. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I'm trying to think of one that makes sense. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to go with pacifist bugbear healer, because, like, I'm secretly a bear. I should be able sure. to do this. Okay, yeah, I'll allow that. Yeah, yeah. you uh, you successfully punch. That's way better. That's a seven. You Woo! punch a hole through the floorboards, and uh, your hand hits like wood and punches through that. But then it hits metal, and there's like something under the floorboards. Sugoi. <laughs> oh, but Jet, you don't actually see him do any of this. You just everyone like disappears from your vision. And it just says Timmy kneels down and uh, rears back uh, and throws his fist towards oh the floor. Oh God! And then like the screen shakes. Yes. You hear like some bad Foley was like. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. It's really just someone like dropping some books. Right. Yeah, there's definitely something down here. Um, I, I guess since, like, we got a hole to work with now, he's going to start tearing away at more of the floor from the side. Yeah, you start working Thank away you. and tearing away a hole, and as you tear away more, you see that there is a strange-looking, almost like a pirate ship underneath the floorboards. Uh, and you can see sort of around it is that same rainbow void. It's just, like, drifting in, but pushed up against the floor of your classroom. Um, so that's cool. Is there a way uh, into the ship exposed? Uh, there's or? a large hole in the hull. Weird. Oh, huh, <laughs> that is strange. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Timmy jumps in. All right. Yeah, you do that. Uh, the whole ship is sort of on its side. So you land on the opposite wall, uh, bolted to the floor. So it's sort of at a 90 degree angle with you is a large machine with a, a bunch of concentric dials, and next to it, a long tube of some kind of light blue glowing liquid. I do love that we made canonical that 69420 leads us to a visual novel To the anime so well. universe? Yeah, where else yeah. would yep. it go? Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, that's fair. That all checks out. <laughs> hey, Senpai, I think I might have found a no ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> This this is um, gonna revolutionize baking. I'm gonna I'm gonna. <laughs> I can't I can't actually think of a good reason why I would fuck with this thing. Um, Does everyone follow Timmy down into the ship? Yeah, okay. I think if Jet can't follow, Edith would grab Jet. Uh, Jet, your vision like wipes to black and then wipes back in on the ship. Everyone else, you just watch her like get up and hop down into the ship. <laughs> Great. Oh, I, it really does suck. <laughs> yeah, you're you're in the strange ship now. What do you do? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of a way to get everybody's memories back. Right, yeah. I will say there's a, you know, like I said, the ship is sideways, but there is a... Yeah, and there is that pressure upstairs. plate. Yeah. Right. So where was where actually in the way the room is oriented is the pipe? The pipe is right next to the machine. Yeah, but is it like on the wall or what what's going it, on? It, there is there are like some mechanical looking hooks coming out of the machine that it was like it's being held by. Okay, but I mean like relative to us, like 
is it okay? Is it on the floor of the ship? Is it connected to the wall? Uh, it's is it, it the front? Like what's going on? Uh, it's not on the floor. It's it's closer to the floor wall, uh, but it's sort of just hanging from the machine. Okay. Um. Hmm. So high school's weird. <laughs> just gonna throw that out there. Uh, yeah, Jet. You just see the words. I never imagined that this was what would become of my student life. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Is that her thoughts she or is that translating dying. what I said? Uh, no, I'm, I think that's her thoughts. <laughs> Julia's fucking dying out there. <laughs> God. Okay, so... Um, go, go ahead. Can... So this thing's on its side. I don't... Mm. I was trying to think of like going up to the stairs, but that doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. So the thing I was thinking, maybe based on where the pipe is oriented in the room, uh, if we're going to get to those dials and fuck with them, which I think is you know a natural thing to try to do, we're going to need to climb on something to reach it because now the ship is all sideways. So maybe uh, I'm going to try and use the gas pipe as a stepping stone. Yeah, all right. Oh boy. To the, yeah. Uh, as you, maybe, but maybe it's not so sturdy, like. Right. You realize that it is. Uh, it it sort of squeezes and compresses under your foot, and sprays out uh, the liquid in a more gassy form throughout the room, and uh, everyone other than Brooke remembers their life in Seinfeld. Everyone, uh, Brooke, you remember your life in Deathria. God, just. <laughs> Why? Hey guys, this is probably the worst one. This is worse than the last uh, dimension. And now everybody is unable to hear anything and just sees the uh, the text. Oh, this is great. Uh. This is great. Why? Please tell me all of our text boxes are overlapping each other as we talk <laughs> over one another. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Luke, I think you should uh, send this back to Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> Oh, uh, why the human body again? Just <sighs> you seem really humans? freaked out by being human. Like, uh... it... I'm definitely not human. It's very weird having this whole shenaniganry. Okay, so. Do we remember the number to get back to New York? Maybe we could try that? I mean, we do, but... <sighs> no, that's not where we're from. I've been trying to show you that. <sighs> Let's just try another number. Okay. Yeah, if everyone else is okay with it, let's roll the dice. Alright, you're just you're spinning the dial on a new one? Yeah, that seems fine. Okay. Who wants to take a turn this time? <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to take your turn, Molly? Uh, let's do... Uh, the equal sign... Uh... Seven six point three five eight. I don't know. Sure. Okay. Uh, you hit that and you hit the button. Uh, well, let me ask you this. Before you hit the button, do you want to do something about the hole in the hole? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, is there anything around we can use to cover it up? Hmm. Well, you've ripped up a lot of the floor from the baking club. Yeah, there we can go. We, oh, yeah, can, can we, we steal like a that? table? Yeah, a table might work too. Yeah. 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 Let's barricade the shit out of the hole. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, roll. Tell you what, Mike. Why don't you roll craft? <laughs> oh, god. oh my god! Everybody can oh, roll boy. craft. <laughs> oh great! Look, look. Zero. Oh, that's a zero. <laughs> The uh, crash stat is one. I was just excited that I finally got to use it. Right, no, I know. The two. Two. Uh, three. Okay. Edith. Oh, what am I? Is this craft? Yeah, it's craft. Sorry. <laughs> I got a four. I rolled all pluses. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Edith just pulls out a hammer and nails. Like, let's yeah. fucking do this. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Edith, you managed to patch up the hole in the hole. Butch Queen, Edith Blaine. Edith the Tool Woman Blaine. Uh, Alright. Edith punches into her coordinates and takes off. You uh, can still see sort of the rainbowy light through seams in the hole, but it's managed to hold you in at least. Uh, the ship is creaking and cracking, but it's it's holding steady. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to think of how to sell this one. I'm gonna say all of you, uh, your vision goes white, and you're torn apart. And in some white void, <laughs> Chelsea just said it's gonna be home improvement next. <laughs> oh. Uh? In some strange white void, a cucumber blows on a tuba. Well, a tomato sings a song. No, oh, absolutely you know. not. No, no. <laughs> I I choose no. Death. Uh, their song is <laughs> abruptly interrupted when a large pirate ship crushes them. Uh, all of you wake up in the ship, and uh, for a moment you wonder what Bible story you're going to reenact with your buddies before the tube uh, releases its held memories. And all of you realize that you're not supposed to be vegetables. What vegetables, everybody? <laughs> Grips. <laughs> That's not... Timmy is 100% a carrot. Okay, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, uh you, Brooks you watermelon. Know, a big pumpkin. Okay. <laughs> watermelon, pumpkin... Carrot and did you say grapes, Ashley? No, uh, jet celery. <laughs> celery. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you have eyes and mouths, but otherwise you're just uh pieces of produce. Do we still remember all of our like respective memories? Yes. Yes, you do. Brooke is horrified. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? You can sort of stand up and sort of hop around. Oh, this keeps getting worse. Oh, for the love of... You know, we... hey, Julie, Brooke was complaining that she was still kept being human. I know! <laughs> Can we... Now, now I'm mostly made of water. <laughs> Can we <laughs> manipulate things with invisible hands like they do on the show? Like, can we still, like, do stuff? Yeah, like, fine. Homestar Runner it up? I'll allow it. <laughs> okay. Because they do that. I know, I know, I know they do. Yeah. I thought about not allowing that, and that'd be the challenge for this one. <laughs> That seems like a dick move. Yeah. Um. So we're not staying here, right? Like, that's just not happening? Yeah, no, I'm not. No, okay. No, we still need to get back to our to my apartment. You smile. There's I, ambient noise. I hate this. Outside, you can just hear Oh my god, what happened to Bob and Larry? Fuck. Man, I watched a fucking lot of that show. Yeah, me too. Fuck. Never watched a single second of it. <laughs> okay. But I so know what it is. Here's a bold new strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, so the wheels, are they're, they're wheels on a pirate ship. Are they loose enough that I can just, like, spin them and just, like, leave it up to chance where they land? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. All right. Spin mm. in the Wheel of Fortune. Let's see what happens. All right. Let's say it lands on... Well, let me ask you this. Are you waiting for them to stop before you hit ignition? Hmm. Oh, boy. This, oh, boy. Timmy. Timmy. Hmm. I trust you, but I'm scared. But also, yeah. Let's say no. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. He said no. Okay. <laughs> uh, you hit the ignition, 
And uh, for a moment, the wheels seem like they're slowing down to settle on something, but then they speed back up and just keep spinning. And uh, the ship blasts off on out of here because it's a bad world. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh you are back in the the rainbow void and uh you wonder where you're gonna land next but it seems like you're not landing anywhere you're just zooming through space the dials are not stopping and uh all of a sudden you hear a horrible um shudder and it seems like the ship is starting to come apart oh god uh -oh. Uh, I, oh great i try, I try to grab the wheels to stop them. um the friction burns your fingers when you put them to the wheels wait i have fingers again okay uh yeah i'm gonna say you've actually uh reverted to um i'm actually gonna say you've reverted to your original form which is real weird for you because you d you don't know about your original form Ah! Ah! I got a snout. I've got a snout. <laughs> I'm really itchy all of a sudden. Ha ha! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> What'd she say? Pris said, "Why are y'all always turning into shit?" <laughs> That's a great question, honey. <laughs> well, to be fair, this is us turning back into ourselves. Yeah. And I mean, Edith's been the same the whole time, really. And also, Emily points out a very good fact, uh, <laughs> Ashley, which is that you made it canonical that Seinfeld Jet was a furry, and this is her fursona. <laughs> That's true. So but listen, uh, this Jet, Seinfeld Jet, she drew pictures of it, but didn't want it. I see, I see. She wasn't into TF, she's a coward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> that is... Ashley! <laughs> yes, of course. God. Wait, what's, what'd she say? She said, did you make them turn into regular people for the sitcom episode? Oh, I, I wasn't gonna. You oh, guys... excuse me. She said the stupid sitcom episode. She wants to make that perfectly clear that she does not approve. Sure. Uh, listen, I was going to leave you guys alone. You guys are the ones that said you wanted human sodas. I didn't say shit. That's a lot. Listen. Because you're, you're already a human. human. It's fine. Yeah, I'm already a human. I'm yeah, the only human in the world. It didn't matter for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the ship seems like it's coming apart. What do you do? Um... Timmy, you fucked it up bad. You fucked it up bad. Yeah, it looks like it. Hmm. Uh, is there... I'm trying to think. Is it, like, just being ripped apart from, like, the forces or whatever? That's that's what you think, yeah. Jeez. Okay, uh... Wait, oh, can, am I, like, wearing my cl like the clothes I usually wear? Yeah. Can like, I take off my jacket and try to, like, stop? Oh, like, use it on the dials? Yes. Uh, you try to, uh, you put your hand to it, and the dial does stop as you push on it, but the, whatever mechanism is spinning it from underneath, like, keeps going, and the dial is ripped off of it. Oh! I'm sorry, oh, I tried boy. to make it better. <laughs> Um, oh, can Edith try and hit the ignition again? Uh, you can. The light on the ignition is not glowing. Okay. Nothing then? Uh, yeah, nothing happens. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what else I can we do? Another light. <laughs> That's bad. Um. The, uh, the patch job that you did is starting to, like, pop loose. Can I try and reinforce it somehow? Uh, I don't know. Tell me how. Um, has anything else in the uh, inside of this chamber come loose? Uh, give me a fate point, and you can tell me what comes loose. Uh, okay. Um, I think the doors and maybe some of the pieces of the stairs from the stairway have mm -hmm. come loose. Okay. 
Uh, and I want to put those up against the wall again to okay. try and just keep that patched. Sure. All right. Yeah, uh, I guess roll craft again to see if you can... Oh, you that's know. not going to go well. <laughs> I gave you a fate point, you dick. <laughs> Uh, okay, no, I rolled a three. That's yeah, that's fine. Way All better right. than yeah, you're, you're, okay. you're keeping it together. But you can hear, feel the whole ship. the The floor actually bends slightly as the whole ship is sort of very slightly like rent. But I kept the whole patch. You kept the whole patch. <laughs> you did a good job, Molly. We did it. You did it. Ah, <sighs> um, so the ship's coming apart, but we're not like it's not like super turbulent or anything like we can walk around yeah yeah okay uh tim's gonna try and go back up the stairs okay yeah you head up the staircase uh there is a you know the door towards uh a a small cabin and then a lamp and a another staircase leading up top side well top side sounds like a bad idea mm-hmm. um Let's see. Uh, what? Uh, okay. I need. I'm. I, w- I want to try and check the the bedroom. See if I can find something. Something I can use as like a blunt object. Um. Okay. I will say you can. Uh, there's some chairs in there, or like a table that you can maybe break a leg off of. Okay. Maybe what's something stronger? Can I get my hands on like a metal pipe? Maybe something, something sturdier. Sure. Give me what I'm wanting point. to do. Okay. Yeah, I'll take. I'll spend a fate point. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna run back down the stairs. Okay. Uh, I'm be like, all right. Well, we've already broken this thing to hell and back. Everybody, hang on. And oh, wow. he's gonna just start trying to smash up the machine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh. Uh, you give it a good hard, uh, swing, and then another, and another, and, uh, the ship is gone, and you're gone, but then you're not, but you are, but you're not sure where you are. You're, it feels almost like you're floating in water, but you still just see colors everywhere. You can almost see, it's like the sky is made out of that kaleidoscopic uh, view and the water you're floating in is so clear and reflective that it's just reflecting it back. And the only thing like cutting this uh, image is your own body. And um, you're all there or just one of you is there or everybody's there. It's, it's not clear. Um, And as you drift through this uh, void you become aware of one of those shadows again and if the barnacle was big this thing if the barnacle was the size of a city this thing is probably the, close to the size of uh, like moon Ugh. and you're far enough away from it that you can sort of take it all in at once but you realize just how far you are and it is a whale. Hmm. Ugh. Hi. <laughs> God. Do you know a whale yet? Whale works. <laughs> God. <laughs> God, what if that was the twist of all of us? <laughs> <laughs> It's been William all along. Real short, like, I kind of thought that was where it was going. (sighs) No, I just forgot I already used a whale for a thing. (laughs) Uh, The whale, like, sings like whales do, but it's... The bass is so deep that you're shaken to your very core, and you come apart, and you die, but then you're alive. Uh, and uh, you understand it, sort of. Um, it's asking where you came from. And what you are. Uh, 
I guess Edith tries to tell that she's a human from Nethria. Uh, do we do we remember that? Brooke remembers that. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Should probably let Brooke do the talking, I guess. Oh, geez. <laughs> Uh, I should step away to um, refill my water bottle. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, so, yeah, I, I thought I'd be quick enough to get back. Um, just fill me in past like a couple minutes, just in case. Yeah, you guys are floating in the rainbow void now. You're yep. not landing yep. anywhere. There is a whale the size of a large moon uh, before you, and it's asked you where you are and what you what you are and where you're from. Oh, so. We're from Nethria. They don't remember that. Um, and so did it ask what we are as well? What's that? Did it ask what we are as well or yes, just where yeah, we're yeah, from? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm a water elemental. Uh, Jet here is a knoll. Uh, Timmy is a bugbear. It, uh, it cuts you kind of... off with another song. And just like the first one, it completely like eradicates you from existence with the passing <laughs> song and then you reform almost like uh i'm trying to think of a good example it, it, it's like it just like like in super mario sunshine when you like mario like kind of like forms out oh like he turns yeah the paint then tin- yeah yeah mm-hmm. absolutely yeah that, that's actually a very good yes it, it, it's like all of you got blown apart but there's some bond between like the pieces of you that then pull it all back right and uh the thing the sentiment that you got this time was just you don't belong here oh uh yup (laughs) that's yep accurate Mm -hmm. (laughs) mm-hmm Uh, it just sort of regards you silently for a few moments here. I don't know if you want to say anything to it, or... So, What do uh, we do? We'd like to get back home to Nethria, if you know how to do that. It sings, and as you come back together, you understand that it asked you why your concerns should interest it. Fair point. I mean, it sounds like you don't want us to be here either. Um, it sings again and says that it's not uncommon for small, insignificant things like you to leave where they belong and get lost in the tide of existence. And although individually you're all so incredibly meaningless, it exists by eating creatures like you. By the Hmm. millions. I want to fight it. (laughs) It, No! It it starts to get closer, and you can see... I'm trying to think of what it's called. Like, those weird... Like, whales don't have teeth. They have, like, those big, like... I know what you're talking about. Those big, like, plankton-catching things, yeah. They're, like, fibers. They're almost, like, bristles. Yeah, Yeah, those bristles. Like, you can just see those, like, partially sticking out of the water as it swims towards you. And it's... You know, this is, like, an event on the scale of the moon crashing into the Earth. So it is... Not instantaneous in the slightest, but it is moving your way. What do we do? Uh, um, Swim for it? I don't think we're going to get away from it. Are we just going to Jonah this? Like, go on a Pinocchio Who's adventure? Who's that? <laughs> You would know Pinocchio. You have your memories yeah. through New York. Okay, okay, it, okay. It okay. would be the reverse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Brooke wouldn't know it. That was OOC. <laughs> right, right. No, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, well, it was nice knowing you all, and I'm sorry we never made it to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, again with the mole. Somewhere My mom's be in so the, upset. Somewhere in the infinite reaches of uh the multiverse in that now abandoned TV studio there's an echoing laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Amazing. <laughs> um. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Like my first instinct's to hit it, but that's not gonna do anything. It's a big. Yeah. Move. I'll say. But I uh, want to hit it. You guys can roll lore for something for a hint. Okay. Oh sure. Yeah, lore. Yeah. Or... Oh, that's my good skill, but that's a bad roll. That's a four. Okay. That's an eight. Eight. Negative okay. two. Julie. Uh, right, uh, two. Brooke. Yeah. Uh, Brooke's got this. Uh, some things snap into uh, clarity for you. Because you realize, obviously, this was Liza's ship. And that somehow right. she came out here. And it's not really clear what she was doing. But there's a lot of oceanic creatures of a scale that you can't even comprehend out here. And you realize that this must be where she got all those shark teeth. Oh, shit. Do you, um, tell, do you tell the whale that? I guess... <sighs> yeah, but I'm trying to figure out how to, how to like phrase that. Like... Somebody's been stealing them, or yeah, like have you, I think Brooke just quickly goes. Have you noticed anything missing from this place that shouldn't be? Uh, let me think of how he responds to that. Um, the whale sort of slows in its approach, and. I'm, try I'm trying to think of what it would say. Because I, I know the answer, but I'm trying to think of what it would say. Uh, right, yeah. It says uh, nothing that would be of concern to something as pitiful as you. What if there were shock teeth, and what if I told you that it isn't concern to us? Roll, roll something to, to convince him to listen to you. Uh, let's go with Empathy or Apollo. They're both one for me. I don't know. Okay. Tell him that they killed a god. That seems pretty big. Oh, uh, that's a four. Okay, yeah. Uh, it says... It, 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 it completely stops at that. And, uh, as you come back together from being destroyed by its song yet again, uh, the sentiment you felt was that Brother Shark has been gone for a very long time. What if I told you we know who may have killed Brother Shark? Well, I don't, we don't know Brother Shark's dead, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, listen, the Shark... I'm just well, throwing it out there. It, 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 it doesn't sing you, who... so much as roar and say that Brother Shark is, a, is eternal and could never die. Well, maybe not die, but someone is clearly, someone we know of, clearly using Brother Shark for nefarious purposes in our realm. It says, uh, where is your realm? Nethria, a city built on top of a dead goddess. Your name is nothing to me. Where? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Where, well, like, we found those charts in the ship before, but it, I guess the ship is gone now, so. Yeah, I mean, is there any way I could know how to convey this knowledge to. Let me think. Um,. Roll door. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking die seriously right now. Uh, that is a six. Six? Okay. 
Let me think of the best way to, to put this. Um, wherever you are right now, you get the sense that it's a place where where is maybe a weird concept. And that... Maybe when? <laughs> uh, yeah, when is probably a strange concept, too. I mean, this is... You're, you're in okay. some crazy space between worlds. Right, yeah. Um, and uh, you get the sense, the, the sort of aura that this whale is giving off is something more powerful than certainly any of the goddesses that you've dealt with. So, uh, you you can feel just the enormity, not just of its body, but of it, of its, of what it is. Um, and uh, you think that probably he's not asking you to point in a direction. He's asking you to explain the meaning of what your world is and where it is to you and what that means. And that is probably going to be just as good as if you could give him a map. It is a world where beauty died and lies will lies was locked away. He says, um, uh... I know of beauty. And I know of her foolish sister. That foolish sister is the one who may have Brother Shark. Mm. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> like, as far as we know, like, right, I'm trying knows. to get us back. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's as good, a, good of an idea well, as any. No, my thought is that uh, the foolish one is truth. That's all. That's that's all. Yeah. Is that, is that the case? Uh, I mean, that that's Beauty's sister. Lies would be her niece. I mean, yeah, I guess that's true. Okay, well, in that yeah. case, in, I, I, in fair enough, I recant that then. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Well, yeah. that, you don't have to, like, worry about it. It's probably good enough, I'm just saying. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta, gotta be lore accurate. <laughs> <laughs> lore accurate. I'm just brainstorming out here. Uh, all right, let me think. He, uh, he says that let, let me think of the right phrasing because this is the hey, role playing is an immortal being with all knowledge is hard. Go figure. <laughs> With knowledge beyond the bounds of all reality. It turns out that's a hard mindset to get yourself into. <laughs> uh, it says um, that truth has dried out part of the tides with her eyes. I'm guessing with her, okay. like, the tears, like, maybe made rivers and shit in our world. Well, the, okay, so, sorry, I, I, uh, I kind of missed it a little bit. So you said, you, you're saying that Truth cleared out the tides with her eyes? To, uh, dried out the tides with her eyes. Dried out the tides. Yeah, yeah, so so the tides is... Land. So Truth's whole thing is that wherever she looks, like, the world makes sense. Like she's the one that makes that happen. I think is the, like that's the established mythology, right? Yeah. Like, and that's and that's why like Liza's shit and even, and also like magic stuff happens where Truth can't see, or can't see so well. So I think like, I guess the implication is this whale lives in the 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 other space where just like nothing fucking makes any real sense, and like the rules are nebulous and fuzzy, and things like that. So. Uh, they live on the, like, the back, behind Truth. Yeah. So, we're, we're looking for the place that Truth is looking at, I think is the way to tell him where we, we're supposed to go. 
Yeah. Okay. Did, did, did you want Timmy to say that yeah. Out loud? Or yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, can't. I, that's the thing is, I put that together. I don't think that Timmy can because I still think I'm from New York. Sure. Is the thing. If, yeah. Oh, that's true. That's true. If we want to say that yeah. Brooke figured that out and you just helped, you know, Julie figure yeah. out what Brooke figured out, that's fine. Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah, Brooke, you say all of that and uh, you know explain that you're looking for where truth is looking, and um. He says, uh, let me think of what he says. He says, have you seen Brother Shark? We've seen no, his teeth. No, but we've seen his teeth, yeah. Um, he says... I will return you home if you return Brother Shark home. That seems fair. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I we'll, promise we'll do that. We'll 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 try our best. He says, "If you do not, I will eat your entire world." Cool. Understandable. Welp. I don't fear truth the way my brothers do. I am bigger and older than her. Hmm. Okay, then. What's your name? Whale. Yeah, okay, that's fair. The Great Fish. Yep. Uh, you got anything else, guys? Yeah, yeah. Let, yeah, I let, don't know if last yeah, call that's... for like questions or anything else you want to say. It was my purpose. <laughs> yeah, no, I got nothing. Okay. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I no. The tides start to move, and uh, between you and whale, a whirlpool starts to form that you're drawn into and uh you're sucked into it and the undertow draws you under and you begin to uh drown and all of you wake with a start on the ship Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Oh, uh, it, so I had we... the weirdest stream. The I, I okay. All of you remember y you are you are remember your Nethrian selves. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're on the ship. The tube of memory juice is full. Huh. Cool. Oh. And the ship is completely repaired. Do we remember anything about what happened and all of that? Yes, yes you do. Because I'm immediately going to go to, over to everyone and go, Do you all remember now, please? <laughs> yes. Uh, Jet is just You're going not to, from like... New York. No, we're not from New... Wait, so the ship is completely repaired? Like, even the hole in the hull's gone? Yes. Huh. Uh, Jet is just going to hug Brooke. Okay. I, I will say, uh, Brooke, you remember, like, everything vividly. Everyone else, you remember the meeting with the whale, and you sort of remember your other lives that you've lived here, uh, but it's it's a little hazy. It's uh, it, in the same way that it was any time you got the memory juice out there. So do, do we... Does anyone other than Brooke remember what the memory juice is and how it works? Uh, yeah, I think you do. I mean, uh, we've encountered it before. We know what it is. Right, yeah, like I said, yeah. you, you recognize it as the... the, the, the yeah. I'm just I'm just trying to be clear, because like sure, it, sure, it, sure, it sure. sounded like we don't 100% remember everything. No, yeah, well, oh, like sure. I said, you, you don't have strong memories of being, you know, the Seinfeld cast. Okay. 
boom, 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 boom. Because, like, you, you took the time to mention that the memory juice thing is back in full, and now I'm really curious, like, what happens if we hit the memory juice again? Yeah, I just don't know what's in there anymore. Hey, guys, look, it's a vape rig. <laughs> no, honey, no. Uh, I'm the ship... kind of with Jet on this one. Yeah, no, it's, it totally looks like a vape rig, right? Yeah. Uh, please, no. no <laughs> please, no. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't erase memories, right? What do you suppose we would remember? Maybe <sighs> we can remember something from the last person who used it? That's that's a fair point. I'm willing to entertain. Eh, couldn't hurt. Hmm. See, how do you trigger it? Wasn't there like a, a switch in there's the a, floor over a, here there's, somewhere? There's a switch or a nozzle we can so that way we don't all get hit with it at the same time. So if anyone wants to volunteer to be, the, oh screw it, I'll be the one. <laughs> all right. I was gonna say it, but okay. I mean, yeah, you I can just step on the thing on the it. floorboard and it just fills the room, right? I don't know if everybody should get hit at once. Nope. Do this one by one. See what the first person goes through, then we then we decide. So, Brooke, you're volunteering to go first? I, I'm volunteering to go first. Oh, um, there's a lot of joy in that question. You, uh... Mm, let me think. Yeah, nothing happens. You you just... You, you feel like, yeah, you already remember everything. Hmm. Uh... Can I go? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You you taking a hit off the the memory juice? Yeah. Hey boy. Okay. <laughs> you remember your life as a 1990s New York comedian, and also as a 2017 teen from a small town. I'm guessing. No, just just the oh. comedian. That's oh that's, really? That's what got saved to the vape rig. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, does she lose everything else? She doesn't lose everything else. But, okay. but she does feel like a 1990s New York comedian that's now a uh, Noel Bard. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. Wow. Was not... I Okay. <laughs> Luke, I'm going to be like super honest. Yeah. I really don't like that. I don't either. Yeah. I thought you guys were just going to carefully... Well, leave you, that didn't explain, you, you didn't yeah. explain... No, Luke. Yeah. Luke. 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 <laughs> you can't like straight up point out that it's full again and not expect us to fuck with it because was, you made That's actually yeah. like uh, that's literally a trap. Like that's <laughs> I was yeah. literally try Okay, listen. We we'll, we can undo it cuz I don't like it either. Okay, yeah, let's yeah, just undo I that. I was trying to point out that you needed to be careful about leaving. That's why I took the hull out of the way so you'd have to go through the pressure plate. Okay. You guys had the okay. exact opposite reaction to what I thought you had. I thought is, you were mostly, saying mostly I, just, I, 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 I so want to do it because it was my suggestion and I don't want Ashley to get stuck with it. So it was also the case where if I, when I got hit with it, nothing happened. So right. like... Yeah. Right, because it saved your Netherian memories. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, okay. yeah, like, I... <laughs> Yeah, no. I, I guess I guess yeah. I guess also because we don't we didn't really fully know like oh it's a save point of memories sure to go on from only the Seinfeld arc because if I had yeah, yeah like sure that's fair that's fair I'm fine with undoing it because I didn't want it done either <laughs> okay perfect we we you carefully gotta leave guess the on ship. how you describe set pieces Luke because then really? if you're gonna point out something as big as that we're gonna go for it I I was trying to point it out as the source of danger. No, it didn't seem like danger. Yeah, no, no like, it really didn't. Because, it's, because, because the entire time, it was the thing we were looking for. Right. Yeah, as the thing we, we've been relying on Fair almost. Enough. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway. And also because you've done stuff where it's like, oh, we're in the past or we're in memories and we need to look at... Yeah, since the ship was fixed, I thought it might be like we went back a little further and somebody else's memories were here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, here's lies because... You know, yeah, we could that... use Liza's memories to, like, against her. Yeah. Okay, uh, this sounds, like, increasingly like we should go outside, probably. Yeah. Let's, let's yeah. leave. Let's leave. Carefully. We know where the pressure plate is, let's get the fuck out of here. Alright, you guys yeah. leave the ship. The sky is blood red. Oh, it's a blood moon. Oh, oh, right. And this the, is... uh, you're actually out on the ocean. And, uh, the tides are being whipped into a fervor. And you're 
very far out from shore, but you can still see the coastline just barely. And you can see the water toss and turn as a massive uh, creature with ten serpent-like heads, with each with a crown, uh, rises out of the ocean and uh, begins to... Sl- uh, what's the word I'm looking like? I can't think of a good word for like lurch towards Nethria. Uh, and uh, looking at this thing, it looks bigger than the mountain that Nethria is on. And that seems so like a good cliffhanger. A new... Oh, she found a new project. Mm. Uh-oh. Wait, so, so are the cove and the ship we came on just not here? That's correct. Okay. Okay. Uh, All right. Ooh, boy. Well, thank you, Luke. That was a fun one. Yeah. Yes. This is kind of a goofy one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry if we kind of got angry at the end, but ah, no, also... <laughs> I don't think everybody was, like, angry. Anyway, it, it doesn't yeah. matter. Like I, said, I didn't yeah. like it either. <laughs> yeah. It's just kind of what... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we got this far without a taxi backsies. I think we're allowed to have one. I think so. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, everybody watching. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Shit's gonna happen. Shit's already happening, Luke. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it just everything just keeps happening. We just we met a whale god. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you sure did. After, as your Seinfeld Sonus. As three Seinfeld Sonus out of four, please. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> your Seinfeld Sonus met a whale god. That's the summary of this arc. <laughs> god. You can put that in the YouTube description. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did the last one ever get to YouTube? I think it did, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, no, yeah. That, was, that, was a, that was a while ago. I forgot we had, a, we had some time off. Right, right. Okay. Whew. All right. Well. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next time. Deal with Bye. this. Bye. 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 Don't like this.